Hello everyone, welcome back to MCQs of Mayanklaholic. So in this video, we will be starting from the jurisprudence. So let's get started without wasting any time from question number one. The question number one is the law means option A, the entire body of rules in a state, a particular law, the rules of morality, the rules of natural justice. Here in the given option, correct answer is option A. The law means the entire body of rules in a state. Question number two. The national character of law was introduced in jurisprudence by Karl Marx, Savigny, Montesquieu, Hans Kelsen. Here, correct answer is option B, that is Savigny. National character of law was introduced in jurisprudence by Savigny. Question number 3. In the dark age, national law was given a new interpretation by option A, St. Augustine, option B, Thomas Aquinas, C. Paul, D. Ulpian. Here, correct answer is option A, that is St. Augustine. In the dark age, natural law was given a new interest interpretation by St. Augustine. Question number 4. Stamler had divided law into two parts. Option A, positive law and positive morality. B, positive law and negative law. C, idea of law and concept of law. D, divine law and human law. Here, correct answer is option C, that is idea of law and concept of law. Question number 5. The theory of categorical imperative was propounded by option A, Stone, option B, Allen, option C, Austin and option D, Kant. Here correct answer is option D, that is Kant. Question number 6. The concept of Austin's sovereignty is influenced by the ideologies of which of the following person? Option A, Hobbes, option B, Locke, option C, Rousseau and option D, Montesquieu. Here correct answer is option A, that is Hobbes. Question number 7. Who categorized the subject of jurisprudence as expo expositorial jurisprudence and sensorial jurisprudence? Here, options are Holland, Bentham, Kelson, Payton. Here, correct answer is option B, that is Bentham. Bentham categorized jurisprudence, the subject of jurisprudence, as expo expositorial jurisprudence and sensorial jurisprudence. Question number 8. Whose method is called scientific positivism? Option A, Auguste Comte, Option B, Dugid, Option C, Roscoe Pound and Option D, Austin. Here correct answer is Option A, that is Auguste Comte. Question number 9. Who of the following author is said as the father of English jurisprudence namely? Option A, Austin, Option B, Bentham, Option C, Salmon, Option D, Roscoe Pound. Here correct answer is Option A, that is Austin. Austin is categorized as the author or father of the English jurisprudence. Question number 10. Who among the following is considered an expo exponent of utilitarianism? Option A. Hobbes. Option B. Bentham. Option C. David Hume. And option D. Grotius. Here correct answer is option B. That is Bentham. Bentham is considered as an exponent of utilitarianism. Question number 11. According to Austin, the science of jurisprudence is concerned with option A, morality, option B, positive law, option C, divine law, option D, natural law. Here correct answer is option B, that is positive law. According to Austin, the science of jurisprudence is considered with positive law. Question number 12. Who laid down the foundation of positivism in the modern sense of the term? Option A, C.K. Allen, option B, Bentham, option C, Austin and option D, Salmon. Here correct answer is option B, that is Bentham. Question number 13. According to Austin, which one of the following is not an essential element of law? Option A, command. Option B, ideal. Option C, duty. And option D, sanction. Here, correct answer is option B, that is ideal. Ideal is not an essential element of law, whereas command, duty and sanctions are the essential element of law. This question is important question and has been asked in the various examination. So, you kindly memorize this question. Question number 14. Hart's analysis of law distinguishes between option A, cause and effect, option B, theory and fact, option C, being obliged and having an obligation, option D, corporeal and incorporeal rights. Here in question number 14, correct answer is option C, being obliged and having an obligation. Hart's analysis of law distinguishes between being obliged and having an obligation. Question number 15. Sovereignty according to Austin is the characteristics of being only positive, only negative, internal, positive and negative both. Here correct answer is option D. Positive and negative both. Question number 16. The expression to signify any assumption which conceals or affects to conceal the fact that a rule of law has undergone alteration, its letter being unchanged, its operation being modified is option A. Legal fiction. Option B. Equity. Option C. Custom. And option D. Legislation. Here in question number 16, correct answer is option A, that is legal fiction. Question number 17, 
इन इन लॉ द हार्ट फुलर कॉन्ट्रोवर्सी रिलेट्स टू ऑप्शन ए डेफिनेशन ऑफ लॉ ऑप्शन बी क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ लॉ ऑप्शन सी लॉ एंड मोरलिटी एंड ऑप्शन डी सेंक्शन हेयर करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन सी दैट इज लॉ एंड मोरलिटी हार्ट फुलर कॉन्ट्रोवर्सी रिलेट्स टू लॉ एंड मोरलिटी क्वेश्चन नंबर एटीन हु मेड अ डिस्टिंगशन बिटवीन द यूज ऑफ द टर्म जूरिस प्रूडेंस इन द जेनेरिक एंड स्पेसिफिक सेंस ऑप्शन ए हॉलैंड ऑप्शन बी ऑस्टिन ऑप्शन सी सैलमन एंड ऑप्शन डी एलन हेयर इन क्वेश्चन नंबर एटीन करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन सी दैट इज सैलमन सैलमन मेड अ डिस्टिंगशन बिटवीन द यूज ऑफ द टर्म जूरिस प्रूडेंस इन द जेनेरिक एंड स्पेसिफिक सेंस क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइनटीन हुज थ्योरी इज बेस्ड ऑन द कॉन्सेप्ट दैट बोथ स्टेट एंड लॉ आर द एवोल्यूशनरी प्रोडक्ट ऑफ ह्यूमन रीजन हेयर ऑप्शन आर ऑप्शन ए हीगल ऑप्शन बी सेवेग्नी ऑप्शन सी माइन ऑप्शन डी सेलमन हेयर करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन ए दैट इज हीगल हीगल थ्योरी इज बेस्ड ऑन द कॉन्सेप्ट दैट बोथ स्टेट एंड लॉ आर द एवोल्यूशनरी प्रोडक्ट ऑफ ह्यूमन रीजन क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी द ऑरिजिनल ऑथर ऑफ द बुक द लिमिट्स ऑफ जूरिस प्रूडेंस इज डिफाइंड इज ऑप्शन ए ऑस्टिन ऑप्शन बी स्टुअर्ट मिल ऑप्शन सी डेविड ह्यूम एंड ऑप्शन डी जेरमी बेंथम हेयर करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन डी दैट इज जेरमी बेंथम जेरमी बेंथम इज द ऑथर ऑफ द बुक द लिमिट्स ऑफ जूरिस प्रूडेंस क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी वन लॉ वॉज डिफाइंड इन द टर्म्स ऑफ बैलेंसिंग वेरियस इंटरेस्ट इन द सोसाइटी एंड एज सच लॉ वॉज डिस्क्राइब एज सोशल इंजीनियरिंग बाय ऑप्शन ए ऑस्टिन ऑप्शन बी हॉलैंड ऑप्शन सी हिलरिक ऑप्शन डी पाउंड हेयर करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन डी दैट इज पाउंड Pound described law as the social engineering. Question number twenty-two: That a legal system arises from the combination of primary and secondary rules was initiated by Austin, Hart, Bentham, Kelso. Correct answer here is option B. That is Hart. Question number twenty-three: Point out the best response according to Austin. Law has the following attributes: command, sovereign, sovereign and enforceability; command, sovereign and sanction; command, sovereign and legal remedy; command, sovereign and obedience by subject. Here, correct answer is option B. That is command, sovereign and section. Question number twenty-four: Which one of the following jurists belong to ancient theories of natural law? Option A: Aquinas. Option B: Grotius. Option C: Kohler. Option D: Socrates. Here, correct answer is option D. That is Socrates. Socrates is a jurist belong to the ancient theories of natural law. Question number twenty-five: It is generally agreed that the definition of law has consumed so much time and energy because. Option A: The notion of the law is different in different countries. Option B: Law is very difficult subject. Option C: It is surrounded with philosophical perplexities. Option D: There is linguistic variation on the issue. Here, correct answer is option A: That the notion of law is different in different countries. So here we will end the first video of this jurisprudence MCQ. We will catch you soon in the another video of the jurisprudence soon. Hello everyone welcome back to Mindclaholic in this video we will be pursuing the MCQs of jurisprudence this is the second video of the series if you want to watch other videos also please find a link in the description section and also subscribe us now let's get started from question number 26 according to main which one of the following is the first social organization option a commonwealth option b peter familia option c state and option d none of these here correct answer is option b that is peter familia is the first organization according to main question number 27 which one of the following statement is related to salmon option a jurisprudence is lawyers perspective option b jurisprudence is a formal science of positive law option c jurisprudence is science of the first principle of civil law and option d jurisprudence is the synthetic uh, scientific synthesis of all principles of law here in this question correct answer is option c that is jurisprudence is the science of the first principle of civil law is the statement related to salmon question number 28 according to austin sanction is option a the permission to do an act option b the evil consequence of disobeying the command of the sovereign option c a right granted by law option d a power to inflict punishment here in question number 28 correct answer is option b that is the evil consequence of disobeying the command of the sovereign is sanction question number 29 the expression law in relation to jurisprudence means option a law in its abstract sense only option b positive law only option c fundamental legal principles and option d 
थ्योरीज ऑफ पनिशमेंट इन क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी नाइन करेक्ट आंसर ऑप्शन सी दैट इज फंडामेंटल लीगल प्रिंसिपल्स क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी ऑस्टिन थ्योरी ऑफ लॉ कैन बी फाउंड इन हिज वर्क टाइटल प्रोविंस ऑफ जुरिस्पिडेंस स्टेटमेंट थ्रू विच थ्रू विच ही मेंट टू कन्वे द आइडिया दैट ऑप्शन ए द सब्जेक्ट मैटर ऑफ जुरिस्पिडेंस वॉज लार्ज टिल देन ऑप्शन बी द एप्लीकेबिलिटी ऑफ लॉस डिफर्ड फ्रॉम प्रोविंस टू प्रोविंस ऑप्शन सी द सब्जेक्ट मैटर ऑफ डिवाइन लॉज एक्सेट्रा डू नॉट फॉल विद इन द परव्यू ऑफ द जुरिस्पिडेंस एंड ऑप्शन डी द सब्जेक्ट मैटर ऑफ डिवाइन लॉ एक्सेट्रा फॉल्स विद इन द परव्यू ऑफ जुरिस्पिडेंस इन क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन सी दैट इज द सब्जेक्ट मैटर ऑफ डिवाइन लॉज एक्सेट्रा डू नॉट फॉल विद इन द परव्यू ऑफ जुरिस्पिडेंस क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी वन जुरिस्पिडेंस एज अ सेपरेट ब्रांच ऑफ डिसिप्लिन वॉज स्टार्टेड बाय ऑप्शन ए Hindu scholars option B Christian community option C Romans and option D Jews here in question number 31 correct answer is option C that is Romans jurisprudence as a separate branch of discipline was started by Romans question number 32 a comparative method of study in law was introduced by option A Sevigny option B Mayn option C Hart and option D Kelsen here in question number 32 correct answer is option B that is Mayn A comparative method of study in law was introduced by Mayn. Question number thirty-three: Social interest in individual life does not involve option A, self-assertion; option B, general health; option C, opportunity; and option D, conditions of life. Here, correct answer is option A, that is self-assertion. Question number thirty-four: Analytical, historical, ethical jurisprudence are three different parts of jurisprudence according to option A, Salmon; option B, Ahering; option C, H. L. Hart; and option D, Immanuel Kant. Here in question number thirty-four, correct answer is option A. That is Salmon. Question number thirty-five: Who among the following is considered as the founder of the science of sociology? Option A. Ahering. Option B. Auguste Comte. Option C. Girk. Option C. Herbert Spencer. Here in question number thirty-five, correct answer is option B. That is Auguste Comte. Question number thirty-six: Who prefers to call Austin's analytical school as imperative school? Option A. Payton. Option C. Holland. Option C. Salmon. And option D. C. K. Allen. In question number thirty-six, correct answer is option D. That is C. K. Allen. C. K. Allen prefers to call Austin's analytical school as imperative school. Question number thirty-seven. Which one of the following has divided justice in two parts: distributive justice and corrective justice? Option A. Dabin. Option B. Aristotle. Option C. Plato. Option D. Aquinas. Here, in question number thirty-seven, correct answer is option B. That is Aristotle. Question number thirty-eight: The state is the synthesis of family and civil society. It is the unity of the universal principle of family and a particular principle of civil society. The above philosophy is of option A, Hegel; option B, Roscoe Pound; option C, Austin; and option D, Savigny. Here, correct answer is option A. That is Hegel. Question number thirty-nine: Name the jurist who is called as Darwinian before Darwin and sociologist before sociologist. Option A. Kelsen option B Savigny option C Pound and option D Gray here in question number 39 correct answer is option B that is Savigny question number 40 who said that law is a normative science option A Savigny option B Kelsen option C Salmon and option D Bentham in question number 40 correct answer is option B that is Kelsen Kelsen is uh, Kelsen said, said that the law is a normative science question number 41 law grows with the nation increases with it and dies with its dissolution and its characteristics of it it is said by option a salmon option b savigny option c henry and option d bucklett question number 41 is correct answer is option b that is savigny question number 42 law is a jealous mistress this often quoted phrase is attributed to francis bacon Dryden, Joseph Story, Joseph Selden. Here, question number forty-two. Correct answer is option C. That is Joseph Story. Question number forty-three. The only right which any man can possess is the right always to do his duty. Says question number forty-three. Correct answer is option D. That is Dugit. Question number forty-four. Equity had come not to destroy the law but fulfil it. Who said this? Maitland, Potter, Salmon, Snell. In question number forty-four, correct answer is option A. That is Maitland. Maitland has said that equity had come not to destroy the law but to fulfil it. Question number forty-five. Legal order is a pyramid of norms. Is the statement of option A. Austin, option B. Kelsen, option C. Salmon, and option D. Fuller. Here, in question number forty-five, correct answer is option B. That is Kelsen. Question number forty-six. 
law should continue to support the minimum morality has was pleaded by option a lord devlin option b hart option c lon fuller and option d dwarkin here in question number 46 correct answer is option a that is lord devlin question number 47 natural law with variable content means in the realization of justice the specific content of a rule of a positive law will vary from place to place and from time to time this theory has been propounded by Rudolf Stamler, Joseph Kohler, David Hume and Hugo Grotius. Here correct answer is option A that is Rudolf Stamler. Question number 48. Who defined law as the decycalized command? Option A. Kelson. Option B. Bentham. Option C. Austin and option D. Selman. Here correct answer is option A that is Kelson. Question number 49. Which one of the following jurists emphasized that we cannot understand that a thing is unless we study what it does? Option A. Austin. Option B. Pound and option C. Kelson and option D. Selman. Here correct answer is option B that is pound. Question number 50. Nature has placed men under the empire of pleasure and pain. It has been said by Bentham, Austin, Pound, Hobbes. Here correct answer is option A that is Bentham. Nature has placed men under the empire of pleasure and pain. It has been said by Bentham. So here we will end this video and to watch further videos related to jurisprudence please subscribe us and we will be making further questions of jurisprudence also thank you so much please like share and subscribe Hello everyone, welcome back to Mayanklaholic. In this video, we will be pursuing the MCQs of jurisprudence. Uh, this is the third video of the series. If you want to watch other videos also, please find the link in the description section and also subscribe to us. Now let's get started from question number 51. Jurisprudence is a scientific synthesis of the essential principles of law said by Holland, Pound, C.K. Allen, Eyring. Here, correct answer is option C, that is C.K. Allen. Question number 52. Who among the following said that jurisprudence is the philosophy of positive law? Option A. Gray. Option B. Holland. Option C. Hart. And option D. Austin. Here, correct answer is option D. That is Austin. Question number 53. Who said that jurisprudence is the eye of law? Option A. Mine. Option B. Savigny. Option C. Pound. Option D. Lasky. Here, in question number 53, correct answer is option D. That is Lasky. Question number 54. Who amongst the following said that jurisprudence is the formal science of positive law? Option A. Holland. Option B. Salmon. Option C. Austin. And option D. Bentham. Here in question number 54, correct answer is option A. That is Holland. Holland has said that jurisprudence is the formal science of positive law. Question number 55. Jurisprudence is the philosophical aspect of the knowledge of law has been said by option A. Salmon. Option B. Dyes. Option C. Cicero. And option D. Payton. Here correct answer is option C that is Cicero. Question number 56. Who among the following looks at the jurisprudence as a system of rules? Option A Austin, option B Hart, option C Salmon and option D Holland. Here correct answer is option B that is Hart. Question number 57. Jurisprudence is the knowledge of things human and divine. The science of just and unjust has been said by option A Keaton, option B Ulpian, option C Julius Stone and option D Austin. Here correct answer is option B that is Ulpian. Question number 58. Law is uncertain and certainty of law is a legal myth. This is the statement of option A Jerome Frank, option B Holmes, option C Gray and option D Lillivinen. Here correct answer is option A that is Jerome Frank. Question number 59. Who says that all positive law is attempt at just law and justice is a harmony of wills or purposes within the framework of social life. The harmony of will or purposes vary according to time and place. Here correct answer is option A that is Tamler. Question number 60. Natural law is based on the nature of man and on his inward need of living in society. Who said it? Option A. Hugo Grotius. Option B. Hobbes. Option C. Locks. Option D. Rousseau. Here in question number 60, correct answer is option A, that is Hugo Grotius. Question number 61, who among the following said the statement that positivism is a trilogy of command, sanction and sovereignty? Correct answer is option A, that is Ellen. Question number 62, according to whom the matter of jurisprudence is a positive law, law simply and strictly so called or law set by political superior to political inferiors, option A, 
Allen, option B, Austin, option C, Buckler, option D, Bentham. Here, correct answer is option B, that is Austin. Question number 63. Law consists of set of principles or body of rules recognized and applied by the state in the administration of justice. This statement is made by option A, Hawks, Austin, option B, Salmon, option C, Holland and option D, Gray. Here, correct answer is option B, that is Salmon. Question number 64. Who among the following said that a right with me is a child of law? A natural right is a son that never had a father. Option A. Jeremy Valdon, Jeremy, Jeremy Bentham, Option C, Salmon and Option D, Payton. Here in question number 64, correct answer is Option B, that is Jeremy Bentham. Question number 65. Some shared morality is essential to the existence of any society. Is the observation of Option A, Jeremy Bentham, Option B, Austin, Option C, Fuller and Option D, Hart. Here in question number 65, correct answer is Option D, that is Hart. Question number 66. Norm is the meaning of an act by which certain behavior is commanded, permitted or authorized. Who among the following gave the above definition of the norm? Option A, Austin, Option B, Bentham, Option C, Kelson and Option D, Holland. Here in question number 66, correct answer is Option C, that is Kelson. Kelson gave the definitions of the norm. Question number 67. Who said that law is nothing but spirit of the people? Option A, Sevigny. Option B, Pound. Option C, Salmon. And option D, Austin. In question number 67, correct answer is option A, that is Sevigny. Sevigny said that law is nothing but the spirit of the people. Question number 68. Law is not universal in nature like language. It varies with people and ages. This proposition follows from the theory of social utilitarianism, fox gist, social solidarity, social engineering. Here in question number 68, correct answer is option B, that is Fox Gist. Do not con confuse with this letter V. Uh, as you are aware of the German car brand that is Volkswagen, that started from V also. It is a German word, so we will pronounce it as Fox Gist. Question number 69. It is the duty of law to make valuation of interest. Who said it? Option A. Puchta, option B, Auguste Comte, option C, Eugen Hilrick and option D, Roscoe Pound. Here in this question, correct answer is option D, that is Roscoe Pound. Question number 70. Aim of law is to balance the competing interests in the society. Who said it? Hilrick, Gehrig, Pound, Spencer. In question number 70, correct answer is option C, that is Pound. Pound said that aim of the law is to balance the competing interests in the society. Question number 71. Who among the following said that law is a means of securing the satisfaction of maximum of wants with minimum of frictions? Option A. Pound. Option B. Holmes. Option C. Cardozo. Option D. Friedman. Here in question number 71, correct answer is option A. That is Pound. Question number 72. The idea of social function crowds out the concept of subjective right. Whose view is this? Option A. Kelson. Option B. Salmon. Option C. Duguid. And option D. Pound. In question number 72, correct answer is option C, that is Duguid. Question number 73, law is a reason free from all passions. Who said it? Option A, Plato. Option B, Aristotle. Option C, St. Thomas Aquinas. And option D, Socrates. Here, in question number 73, correct answer is option B, that is Aristotle. Aristotle said that law is reason free from all passions. Question number 75, who said that law is not to be deduced from the rule, but the rule from the law? Option A, Paulus. Option B, Gray. Option C, Ulpian. And option D, Salmon. In question number 74, correct answer is option A, that is Paulus. Question number 75, which one of the following jurists emphasize that we cannot understand a thing unless we know what it does? Here, in question number 75, options are Roscoe. Pound, option B, Salmon, option C, Austin and option D, Kelson. Here, correct answer will be option A, that is Roscoe. To watch more videos related to MCQs of jurisprudence, please like, share and subscribe and also follow, this the, follow the entire playlist series of this jurisprudence MCQ. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching. Hello everyone, welcome back to my Ankloholic. In this video, we will be pursuing the MCQs of jurisprudence. This is the fourth video in the series. If you want to watch other videos also,
please find the link in the description section and also subscribe us. So now let's get started from question number 76. How did Aristotle describe justice in restoring equality when this has been disturbed? Option A, distributive justice. Option B, corrective justice. Option C, universal justice. And option D, natural justice. Here, correct answer is option B, that is corrective justice. Question number 77. Who among the following is considered an exponent of utilitarianism? Option A, Hobbes. Option B, Bentham. Option C, David Hume. And option D, Grotius. Here, in question number 77, correct answer is option B, that is Bentham. Question number 78. Who described jurisprudence as lawyer's extraversion? Option A, Savigny. Option B, Salmon. Option C, Julius Stone. Option C, Buckland. Here, in question number 78, correct answer is option C, that is Julius Stone. Question number 79. The distinction between general and particular jurisprudence was recognized by option A, Holland, option B, Salmon, option C, Austin, and option D, Kelson. In question number 79, correct answer is option C, that is Salmon. The distinction between general and particular jurisprudence was recognized by Austin. Now, let us proceed to question number 80. Analytical school, historical, ethical juris and ethical jurisprudence are three different parts of jurisprudence according to Option A. Salmon. Option B. Ehring. Option C. Hart. And Option D. Immanuel Kant. Here in question number 80, correct answer is Option A. That is Salmon. Analytical, historical and ethical jurisprudence are three different parts of jurisprudence according to Salmon. Question number 81. Who has written the following words? Law grows with the growth of people, strengths with the strength of the people and finally it dies away as a nation loses its nationality. Option A, Hart. Option B, Savigny. Option C, Bentham. And Option D, Spencer. Here in question number 81, correct answer is option B, that is Savigny. Savigny has written the following words, that is, law grows with the growth of the people, strengthens with the strength of the people, and finally it dies away as a nation loses its nationality. Now let us proceed to question number 82. Law should continue to support minimum morality has been pleaded by option A, Lord Devlin. Option B, Hart. Option C, Lon Fuller. And option C, Dwakin. In question number 82, correct answer is option A, that is Lord Devlin. Question number 83, the province and function of law named book was written by Hart, Kelson, Pound, Julius Stone. Correct answer is option D, that is Julius Stone. Julius Stone is the author of the book province and function of law. Question number 84. Austin's book, The Province of Jurisprudence Determined, is option A, his autobiography. Option B, the lectures delivered in the London University. Option C, an answer to an essay by Gray and Parliamentary Government. And option D, none of the above. Here in question number 84, correct answer is option B. The lectures delivered in the London University is the Austin's books, the province of jurisprudence determined. Question number 85. The theory of justice is the work of option A, Stamler, option B, Rawls, option C, Hall, and option D, Morris. Here, correct answer is option B, that is Rawls. The theory of justice, a theory of justice is the work of Rawls. Question number 86. The author of the book, Province of Jurisprudence Determined is Bentham, Austin, Kelson, Hart. Here, correct answer is option B, that is Austin. This we have already discussed. Question number 87. The following person is the author of the book, The Concept of Law. Option A, Hart. Option B, Austin. And option C, Bentham. And option D, none of the above. Here, correct answer is option A, that is Hart. The heart is a person who is the author of the book, The Concept of Law. Question number 88. Who is called Darwin of historical school? Option A, Henry Mayan. Option B, Hugo. Option C, Burke. Option D, Savigny. Here, correct answer is option D, that is Savigny. Savigny is called the Darwin of historical school. Question number 89. Which one of the following books was written by Savigny? Option A, The Province of Jurisprudence Determined. The limits of jurisprudence defined ancient law, the system of modern uh, the system of modern Roman law. Here in question number 89, correct answer is option D. The system of modern Roman law is written by Savigny, whereas the province of jurisprudence determined is written by Austin. So here correct answer is option D. The system of modern Roman law. Question number 90. Which one of the following schools adhered? The view that law is found, not made. It is self-existent. Option A, historical school. Option B, analytical school. Option C, sociological school. And option D, realist school. In question number 90, correct answer is option A. Historical school is the firm believer that law is found, not made. It is self-existence. Question number 91. Law is the sum of conditions of social life as secured by the power of the state through the means of external compulsion. 
This statement relates to which school of jurisprudence? Historical, analytical, realist, sociological. Here correct answer is option D that is sociological. Law is the sum of conditions of social life as secured by the power of the state through the means of external compulsion. This relates to the sociological school of jurisprudence. Now let us proceed to question number 92. Das Resch, Das Vestiges is the work of Roscoe Pond, Kelson, Savigny, Puchta. Here correct answer is option C that is Savigny. Question number 93. Nature has placed man under the empire of pleasure and pain. It has been said by Bentham, Austin, Pound, Hobbes. Here correct answer is option A that is Bentham. Question number 94. The book Theory of Legislation was written by H.L.A. Hart, W. Friedman, Jeremy Bentham, Julius Stone. Correct answer here is option C that is Jeremy Bentham has written the book The Theory of Legislation. Question number 95. Match list 1 with list 2nd and select the correct answer by using the code given below. Jurist and definitions. Here, Ulpian. Ulpian is related to social science. And whereas Julius Stone is related to lawyer's extraversion. Peterson is related to science of just and unjust. And the last, Austin, is related to philosophy of positive law. By going through these match, the correct code here will be option C. Question number 96 is again the match the following. Savigny. Savigny is related to reflection of spirit of people in legal system. Whereas Hegel, Hegel is related to evolution with laissez-faire. Herbert Spencer. Herbert Spencer, the correct match for Herbert Spencer is evolutionary concept of history. And the last Henry Mine is related to status of contract. By going through these matches, the correct answer here will be option D. The next question is again about the match the following statement and author we have to match. Sociological school is meta-juristic. Here, the, this statement is said by Kelson. Sociological school is metal juristic. Whereas, in the statement B, formal analysis of the structure of English law is said by Austin. C, jurisprudence is lawyer's extraversion. It is said by Julius Stone. And the last distinguishes between expositorial and sensorial law said by Bentham. The last match will be option D. Now, by going through these matches, correct code will be option C. Question number 98 is again the, about the match the following. We have to match the jurist and the theory. Ahering. Ahering gave the theory of, talked about the theory of social control. Whereas Bentham talked about pleasure and pain, that is uh, utilitarianism basically. And Roscoe Pond, Roscoe Pond talk about the social engineering. And Dewitt talk about the social solidarity. By going through these matches, the correct code the, or the correct option here will be option C. Question number 99 is again the match the following, which we have to match. Fuller is related to inner morality. Whereas Bentham, Bentham talked about the utilitarianism or pleasure or pain to simplify. And mine, mine is related to status to contract. And Dugit in law talked about the social solidarity which we have already discussed. Now by going through these matches, the correct answer or the correct option here will be option D. Now let us proceed to question number 100. This is again the ma about matching the uh, list 1 and list 2. John Austin gave the command theory. Dugit were as given the theory of social solidarity. H.L.A. Hart talks about the rules as foundation of a legal system. And Roscoe Pond talks about the social engineering. Always remember Roscoe Pond is about social engineering whereas social solidarity is related to Dugit. So by going through the matches, correct code here will be option B. 
here in this video we will sum up to these questions only and we will further discuss more questions in an another video so thank you for watching please like share and subscribe Hello everyone, welcome back to Mayanklaholic. In this video, we will be pursuing the MCQs of Jurisprudence. And this is the fifth video in the series. If you want to watch other videos also, please find a link in the description section and also please subscribe to us. Now let's get started from question number 101. Question number 101 is also about the match the following. Here we have to match the list 1 and list 2nd. List 1 talks about the jurist and the list 2nd talks about the country. Here Montesquieu is related to America. Iring is related to France. Ehrlich is related to Germany. And Roscoe Pond is related to Austria-Hungary. So by going through these matches, the correct answer here will be option D. Question number 102. Which one of the following is correctly matched and answer with the aid of the codes given below? Here option uh, list 1. In list 1 the option A is the task of law is social engineering. This has been said by Roscoe Pond. The law of a, commun the law of a community is to be found in social facts. This is said by Ehlrich. And scientific positivism is talked about Auguste Comte. And the theory of social solidarity is given by Dugit. So by going through these matches, the correct option here will be option B. Another question that is question number 103 is also about matching the list 1 and list 2. So let's get started. Option A, Fuller. Fuller talks about the morality of the law. Whereas Friedman Justice, Friedman Justice talks about the law in a changing society. In Stone, Stone talked about the human law and human. And Mind talk about the ancient law. So by going through these matches, correct answer here is option B. Now let us proceed to question number 104. In which of the following the idea of natural law first appeared? Options are French Revolution, Option B, American War of Independence, Option C, Roman Law and Option D, Greek Thinking. Here correct answer is Option D that is Greek Thinking. The idea of natural law first appeared in Greek Thinking. Question number 105. The basis of natural law was laid by Option A, Heraclitus, Option B, Aristotle, Option C, Austin and Option D, Hobbes. Here in question number 105 correct answer is Option A that is Heraclitus. Question number 106. Which one of the following schools gave birth to the concept of human rights? Options are historical school, natural law school, realist school, sociological school. Here correct answer is option B. Natural law school. Natural law school gave birth to the concept of human right. Question number 107. Austin is said to be the exponent of which school of the following? Option A. Historical school. Option B. Analytical school. Option C. Realist school. And option D. Sociological school. Here correct answer is option B. That is analytical school. Question number 108. Which one of the following schools supports the view that a custom becomes law when it receives the stamp of judicial recognition by courts? Here options are analytical school, option B. Natural law school, option C. Historical school and option D. Sociological school. Correct answer is option A. That is analytical school. Question number 109. The movement of progressive societies has hitherto been a movement from status to contract. It is said by Henry Mayne, Hegel, Savigny and Cicero. In question number 101, correct answer is option A, that is Henry Mayne. Question number 110. The most distinctive feature of some societies is that they develop the law through fiction, equity and legislation. This statement relates to primitive societies, static societies, progressive societies, dynamic societies. Here in question number 110, the correct answer is option C, that is the progressive societies. In progressive societies, the most distinctive feature of some societies is that they develop the law through fiction, equity and legislation. Question number 111, which of the following are correct combination? Here options are Bentham and Natural Law, Austin and Positivism, Roscoe Pond and Sociological School of Jurisprudence, Henry Mine and Philosophical School of Jurisprudence. 
and the options given are option A 1 and 2, option B 2 and 3 and option C 3 and 4 and option D 1, 2 and 3. Here in question number 111 the correct answer is option B that is 2 and 3 only. That is Austin and positivism whereas Roscoe Pond and Sociological School of Jurisprudence are the correct combinations. Question number 112. The principal jurist of the philosophical school was a option A Herbert Spencer, option B Sir Henry Mine, option C Max Weber and option D Hegel. In question number 112 correct answer is option D that is Hegel. Question number 113. Who has made a distinction between law properly so called and law improperly so called? Option A Jeremy Bentham, Option B, G. W. Payton, Option C, John Austin and Option D, Oliver Wendell Holmes. In question number 113, correct answer is Option C, that is John Austin. Question number 114, legal order is a pyramid of norms, is the statement of Option A, Austin, Option B, Kelson, Option C, Salmon and Option D, Fuller. Here correct answer is Option B, that is Carlson. Carlson talks about the grand norm and this statement is related to that only. Legal order is a pyramid of norms. Question number 115. Who among the following is said to be the propounder of the theory of utility that is greatest good of greatest number? Here correct answer is option D that is Bentham. Question number 116. Which one of the following doctrines is not associated with natural law thinking? Option A. Doctrine of substituted security. Option B. Doctrine of due process. And option C. Doctrine of bias. And option D. Doctrine of reasonableness. Question number 116. Correct answer is option A that is doctrine of substituted security. Question number 117. Eugen Elric is a well-known jurist of Sociological School of Jurisprudence. Which one of the following statements may not be attributed to the theory propounded by him? Option A. Law is derived from social facts. Option B. Law depends on social compulsion. Option C. There is a living law underlying the formal rule of the legal system. And Option D. State law has significant influence on shaping and development of living law. In question number 117, correct answer is Option D. Option D here is, is has been asked is not attributed to the theory propounded by him. Whereas the other options A, B and C are related to the uh, Eugen Ehlrich, a well-known jurist of Sociological School of Jurisprudence. Now let us proceed to question number 118. Which one of the following schools of jurisprudence laid emphasis on the question how did law come to be? Option A, analytical. Option B, sociological. Option C, historical. And option D, philosophical. Here correct answer is option C, that is historical. Historical school of jurisprudence laid emphasis on the question, how did law come to be? Now let us proceed to question number 119. Roscoe Pont propounded the theory of social engineering, which means greatest happiness to greatest number of people, balancing of competing interests in the societies, changes in the concepts and functions of the state and option D, the law has its source in the general consciousness. Here in question number 119, correct answer is option B, that is balancing of competing interests in societies. Question number 120, which one of the following concepts does not belongs to sociological school of jurisprudence? Option A, public interest, option B, social interest, option C, command, and option C, jural postulate. Here in question number 120, correct answer is option C, that is command. Question number 121. Arrange the following stages of development of law according to Maine. Option A. Customary law. Option B. Law made by the ruler under divine inspiration. Option C. Codification. And option 4. Knowledge of law in the hands of priests. Select the correct answer in order of the development using the quotes given below. In question number 121, correct answer is option B. That is 2143. That is Law made by the ruler under the divine inspiration is the first statement, then customary law, then knowledge of law in the hands of priest and then codification. So by going through these chronological order, correct answer here is in question number 121 is option B. Question number 122, there is a school of jurisprudence which attempts to identify purpose of law and the measures and manners in which they are fulfilled. What is this approach known as? Option A, realist school. Option B, sociological school. Option C, analytical school. And option D, philosophical school. Here correct answer is option D, that is philosophical school. Question number 123. Consider the following statements with reference to the philosophical school of jurisprudence. There is interrelationship between law and morality. The main exponent of this school of jurisprudence was Hugo Grotius, Emmanuel Kant and Schelling. And option C, the law has nothing to do with ethics. 
विच ऑफ द गिवन स्टेटमेंट ऑफ आर करेक्ट हेयर इन क्वेश्चन नंबर 123 करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन बी दैट इज फर्स्ट एंड सेकंड द स्टेटमेंट फर्स्ट एंड सेकंड आर करेक्ट दैट इज देयर इज इंटर रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन लॉ एंड मोरालिटी द मेन एक्सपोनेंट ऑफ दिस स्कूल ऑफ जुरिस्पिडेंस वर ह्यूगो ग्रेशियस इमेनुअल कांत एंड शेलिंग नाउ लेट अस प्रोसीड टू क्वेश्चन नंबर 124 अकॉर्डिंग टू द थ्योरी ऑफ सोशल यूटिलिटेरियनिज्म एज प्रोपाउंडेड बाय आहरिंग ऑप्शन ए ग्रेटेस्ट नंबर ऑफ पीपल शुड गेट ग्रेटेस्ट प्लेजर द एसेंशियल बॉडी ऑफ लीगल रूल्स इज ऑलवेज बेस्ड अपॉन द सोशल फैक्ट्स ऑफ लॉ अ बैलेंस इज टू बी स्ट्रक बिटवीन द कंपीटिंग इंटरेस्ट इन सोसाइटी लॉ इज अ मींस टू सोशल एंड्स हियर करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन डी दैट इज लॉ इज अ मींस टू सोशल एंड्स इज द थ्योरी ऑफ सोशल यूटिलिटेरियनिज्म प्रोपाउंडेड बाय आहरिंग क्वेश्चन नंबर 125 व्हिच वन ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट इज करेक्ट ग्रंड नॉर्म इज द बेसिस हाइपोथेसिस ऑफ ऑप्शन ए एच कैल्सन ऑप्शन बी ऑस्टिन ऑप्शन सी हार्ट एंड ऑप्शन डी एच क्रे हियर करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन ए दैट इज कैल्सन कैल्सन टॉक्स अबाउट द हाइपोथेसिस ऑफ ग्रंड नॉर्म नाउ वी विल डू द रिमेनिंग क्वेश्चंस इन एन अनदर वीडियो बाय द टाइम वी विल बी एंडिंग दिस वीडियो ओवर हियर बट देयर इज अ रिक्वेस्ट फ्रॉम माय साइड प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू आवर चैनल एंड थैंक यू सो मच फॉर वाचिंग Hello everyone welcome back to my anklaholic in this video we will be pursuing the mcqs of jurisprudence and this is the sixth video in the series if you want to watch other videos also please find the link in the description section and also please subscribe to us so now let's get started from question number 126 question number 126 assertion sevigny was darwinian before darwin reason Savigny applied the theory of evolution to law before the enunciation of the doctrine of evolution by Darwin. Quotes: Both A and R are true, and R is the correct explanation of A. B: Both A and R are true, but R is not a correct explanation of A. Option C: A is true, but R is false. And option D: A is false, but R is true. Here, correct answer in question number one twenty six is option A. That is, both A and R are true, and R is the correct explanation of A. Question number one twenty seven. The purity of Kelson's pure theory of law rests on the facts that Kelson, option A, defined law in accordance with morality and purity. Option B, discussed jurisprudence in all its purity. Option C, separated law from history, religion, ethics, and politics. And option D, discussed law purely in terms of justice. Here, in question number one twenty-seven, correct answer is option C. The purity of Kelson's pure theory of law rests on the facts that Kelson separated law from history, religion, ethics, and politics. Question number one hundred twenty-eight. The main difference between historical and sociological school of jurisprudence is that the former gives importance to state and later to society. Option B regards custom as a source of law, and the latter does not. Option C gives permanent role to judges in shaping the law, while the latter does not. And option D. concentrates on the past practices in shaping the law while the latter does not here in question number 128 correct answer is option d the main difference between the historical and sociological school of jurisprudence is that the historical school concentrates on the past practices in shaping the law while the sociological jurisprudence does not focus on that so option d here is the right answer question number 129 Who among the following propounded the theory of fox chase? Option A, Henry Mayne. Option B, Montesquieu. Option C, Roscoe Pond. And option D, Savigny. Here, correct answer is option D. That is Savigny. Savigny propounded the theory of fox chase. Question number one hundred thirty. Consider the following statements. Pure theory of law propounds that option A, state and law are inseparable. Option B, there is no difference between public and private law. Option C, law is a primary norm which stipulates sanction. Option four, legal duties are the essence of law. Which statement above is are correct? Here, in question number one hundred thirty, correct answer is option A. That is one, two, and three. Statement one, two, and three are correct, and the last statement, legal duties are the essence of law, is not correct. Related to pure theory of law. state and law are inseparable there is no difference between public law and private law law is primary norm which stipulates sanction question number 131 which one of the which one out of the following statement is not correct with reference to savigny's pure theory of fox chase option a 
लॉ कैन नॉट बी यूनिवर्सल और जनरल इन करेक्टर एंड ऑप्शन बी लॉ इज फाउंड एंड नॉट मेड ऑप्शन सी लॉ ग्रोज विद द ग्रोथ एंड स्ट्रेंथ विद द स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ द पीपल एंड ऑप्शन डी लॉ इज एन इंस्ट्रूमेंट ऑफ सोशल चेंज एंड सोशल रिफॉर्म हेयर इन दिस क्वेश्चन इट हैज बीन आस विच द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट इज नॉट करेक्ट विद रेफरेंस टू द सेवेगनीस थियोरी ऑफ फॉक्स चेस्ट एंड द करेक्ट आंसर हेयर इज ऑप्शन डी दैट इज लॉ इज एन इंस्ट्रूमेंट ऑफ सोशल चेंज एंड सोशल रिफॉर्म दिस इज नॉट करेक्ट वेर इज द अदर स्टेटमेंट ए बी एंड सी आर करेक्ट रिलेट टू द थ्योरी ऑफ फॉक्स चेस्ट इन सेवेगनीस थ्योरी ऑफ फॉक्स चेस्ट नाउ लेट एस प्रोसीड टू क्वेश्चन नंबर वन हंड्रेड थर्टी टू Balancing of social interest and the doctrines of social engineering is the greatest contribution to sociological school. This is attributed to whom? Option A, Dugit. Option B, Roscoe Pond. Option C, Savigning. And option D, Ahering. Here in question number one hundred thirty-two, correct answer is option B. That is Roscoe Pond. Question number one hundred thirty-three. According to John Austin, positive law is called positive because it is. Option A, made by a person in authority. Option B, made as a result of collective will of the people. Option C, made as a result of divine providence. Option D, followed by everybody. Here, in question number one hundred thirty-three, correct answer is option A. That is made by a person in authority. Question number one hundred thirty-four. The concept of living law was expounded by which jurist? Option A, Austin. Option B, Ehlrich. Option C, Pound. And option D, Holland. Here, in question number one hundred thirty-four, correct answer is option B. That is Ehlrich. Elric propounded or expounded the concept of living law. Question number one hundred thirty-five: The concept of rule of law in India and England and due process in USA are essentially based on which one of the following? Option A: Positive law philosophy. Option B: Realist approach. Option C: Natural law philosophy. And option D: Social solidarity. Here, correct answer is option C. That is natural law philosophy. The concept of rule of law in India and England and due process in USA are essentially based on the principle of natural law philosophy. This is one of the important question which you must know. Question number one hundred thirty-six. Analytical positivism does not mean that option A, laws are in the nature of commands. Option B, law as it is and is it ought to be have to be separated. Option C, certain inherent and moral quality is an essential feature of law. And option D, analysis of legal concepts is distinct from critical evaluation. Here in question number one hundred thirty-six, correct answer is option C. That is certain inherent moral quality is an essential feature of law. Question number one hundred thirty-seven. Kelsen's theory of law is called pure theory because Kelsen, option A, purely discussed jurisprudence only. Option B, defined law in accordance with morality and purity. And option C, separated law from religion, ethics, sociology, and history. And option D, discussed law pure in terms of justice. In question number one hundred thirty-seven, correct answer is option C. This we have already discussed. Kelsen's pure theory, uh, Kelsen's theory of law is called pure theory because Kelsen separated law from religion, ethics, sociology, and history. Now let us proceed to question number one hundred thirty-eight. Out of the following jurist, whose theory of law has earned the name of natural law with variable content? Option A, Saint Thomas Aquinas. Option B, John Locke. Option C, R. Stamler. And option D, J. Rawls. Here in question number one hundred thirty-eight, correct answer is option C. That is R. Stamler. Question number one hundred thirty-nine. Who among the following is not the follower of natural law theories? Option A, Cicero. Option B, Hart. Option C, Hooker. And option D, Aristotle. Here in question number one hundred thirty-nine, correct answer is option C. That is Hooker. Question number one hundred forty. Which one of the following jurists was hostile to natural law school? Option A, Immanuel Kant. Option B, Jeremy Bentham. Option C, Stamler. And option D, John Rawls. Here in question number one hundred forty, correct answer is option B. That is Jeremy Bentham was hostile to natural law school, whereas Immanuel Kant, Stamler, and John Rawls were associated to natural law school. Question number one hundred forty-one. Now, natural law is not considered as absolute but as relative. It is natural law with variable contents. This observation specifically relates to Stamler, Delvicicco, Finnis, Debin. Here, in question number one hundred forty-one, correct answer is option A. That is Stamler. Question number one hundred forty-two: That a legal system arises from the combination of primary and secondary rules was initiated by option A. Austin, option B. Hart, option C. Bentham, and option D. Kelsen. Here, correct answer is option B. That is Hart. Question number one hundred forty-three: Consider the following four types of legal doctrines: option A. Fox chest, option B. Imperative theory of law, option C. Social engineering, and option D. Social solidarity. Identify the correct order in terms of time in which they appeared. Here in question number one hundred forty-three, correct answer is option B. That is two one four three. That means that imperative theory law appeared in first, and Fox chest appeared in after the imperative theory of law. 
and then appeared the theory of social solidarity and at last the theory of social engineering appeared now by going through these chronological order correct option will be option b now let us proceed to question number 144 the balance of interest theory was propounded by option a Rudolf Ahering, option B, Ross Coupon, option C, Rudolf Stamler, and option D, Oliver Wendell Holmes. Here in question number 144, correct answer is option A, that is Rudolf Ahering. Rudolf Ahering was known to be the theory of balance, was known to be the propounder of theory of balance of interest. Question number 145. According to Dugit, the division of labor is most important fact of social cohesion. He named it as a theory of social solidarity, Fox just social engineering and social contract. Question number 145 correct answer is option A that is social solidarity. Who amongst the following propounded the theory of social solidarity? Option A, Ahering, option B, Pond, option C, Dugit and option D, Hart. Here correct answer is option C that is Dugit. Dugit is known to be the propounder of theory of social, social solidarity. Question number 147. Which of the following jurists has termed a sociological school as meta juristic? Option A. Dwarkin. Option C. Lloyd. Option C. Hoffield. Option D. Kelson. Here in question number 147, correct answer is option D. That is Kelton, Kelson. Kelson is a jurist who has termed the sociological school as meta juristic. Question number 148. Theory of Sevigny was based on option A. Greek law. Option B. Common law. Option C. Spanish law. And option D. Roman law. Here correct answer is option D. That is Roman law. Question number 149. Historical school of jurisprudence emerged as a reaction of fact against function, realism, fancy, positivism. Correct answer here is option D that is positivism. Question number 150. Roscoe Pond propounded the theory of social engineering which means greatest happiness to greatest number of people, balancing of competing interests in society, changes in the concepts and functions of the state or an option D that law has its source in the general con consciousness. Here in question number 150 correct answer is option B that is balancing of competing interests in the society so now we will end this video over here and if you want to watch further videos or further mcqs of jurisprudence please keep an eye on the another video of this series thank you so much thank you for watching please like share and subscribe Hello everyone, welcome back to Mayank Loholic. In this video, we will be pursuing the MCQs of jurisprudence. This will be the seventh video of the particular series. And if you want to watch the other videos also, please find a link in the description section and also subscribe to us. So now let's get started from question number 151. Question number 151. Main pioneer of the sociological jurisprudence is option A, Montesquieu, option B, Hegel, option C, Sir Henry Mine, and option D, none of the above. Here correct answer is option A that is Montesquieu. Main pioneer of sociological jurisprudence is Montesquieu. Question number 152. The legal philosopher who is generally considered as the founder of historical school of jurisprudence was option A. Frederick von Sevigny, Mayen, Immanuel Kant, Hegel. Here in question number 152 correct answer is option A that is Frederick von Sevigny. Question number 153. Social contract is not a historical fact but a hypothetical construction of reason. But this contract man was happy and free and there was equal equality among men. Who said it? Option A Plato, Option B Grotius, Option C Hobbes and Option D Rousseau. Here correct answer is Option D that is Rousseau. Question number 154. Criticizing Savigny's theory. Who said that Savigny encouraged juristic pessimism? Option A Montesquieu, option B, Mine, option C, Allen and option D, Pound. Here in question number 154, correct answer is option D, that is Pound. Question number 155, which of the following jurist is not related to historical school of jurisprudence? Here options are Ehrlich, option B, Savigny, option C, Sir Henry Mine and option D, Hegel. Here in this question, correct answer is option A, that is Ehrlich. Ehrlich is not related to the historical school of jurisprudence, whereas Savigny, Sir Henry Mine and Hegel are related to historical school of jurisprudence now in question number 156 we have to match the list first and list second list first consists of jurist and list second consists about the views about law or jurisprudence here in this question the correct match will be option a bentham bentham talks about the limits of jurisprudence defined austin austin talks about the province of jurisprudence determined 
and Kelsen. Kelsen talked about the pure theory of law or grand norm and then Hart. Hart talk about the concept of law. So by going through these matches, the correct code here will be option B. Question number 157. Frederick Carl von Sevigny has observed that first, custom precedes legislation. Second, legislation must confirm customary practices. Third, custom is not important in legislation. Fourth, custom is superior to legislation. Select the correct answer using the code given below. Here, in this question, correct answer is option C, that is 1, 2 and 4. The third statement that is custom is not important in legislation is not correct whereas custom precedes legislation is correct legislation must confirm customary practices is correct and custom is superior to legislation is also correct and these are the views of frederick carl von sevigny question number 158 is again the match the following question here we have to match the list first and list second list first talks about the living law option a living law Hildrick is related to living law. Social utilitarianism. Here the correct match is hiring. Then social engineering. Social engineering is related to Roscoe Pond. And social solidarity, social, uh, solidarity is related to Duguid. So by going through these matches, the correct code will be here option D. Now again the match list first and list second. Historical school. Historical school, the correct answer is Puchta. Then sociological school, Auguste Comte is related to sociological school, natural law, natural law, uh, Aquinas, St. Thomas Aquinas related to natural law and then analytical school, Bentham is related to analytical school. Question number 160, in question number 160 again we have to find the match, correct match, list first and list second. Interest theory is related to legal right, then declaratory theory is related to precedent, Social solidarity is related to Duguid and the origin organic theory of society is related to Herbert Spencer. So by going through these matches, the correct code here will be option B. Question number 161. Who among the following divided the sources of law into formal sources and material sources? Option A. Allen. Option C. Keaton. Option C. Salmon. And option D. Gray. Here in question number 161, correct answer is option C, that is Salmon. Question number 162, formal sources of law according to Salmon means ancient sources of law, modern sources of law, those sources of law which do not have binding force and D, those sources of law from which the law derives its force and validity. Here in question number 162, correct answer is option D, that is those sources of law from which the law derives its force and validity. Question number 163. In the modern state, the best source of law is convention, custom, legislation, precedents. Here, correct answer is option C, that is legislation. Question number 164. Dealing with sources of law, who amongst the following says that the courts put life into dead words of statute? Option A, Holland. Option B, Gray. Option C, Salmon. And option D, Austin. Here, in question number 164, correct answer is option B, that is Gray. Question number 165. Interpretation is that process by which the courts seek to ascertain the meaning of law through medium of authoritative forces in which it is expressed. This statement is of Maxwell, Salmon, G.P. Singh and Kreis. Here in question number 165, correct answer is option B, that is Salmon. Question number 166. Opinion of jurist is Option A. General source of law, historical material source of law, legal material source of law and not a source of law. Here in question number 166, correct answer is option B. Opinion of jurist is historical material sources of law. Question number 167. The most important instrument of legal reform is legislation, custom, precedent, writing of legal experts. Here correct answer is option A, that is legislation. Question number 168. According to Salmon, supreme legislation refers to option A, colonial legislation, option B, executive legislation, option C, judicial legislation and option D, law made by the parliament. Here correct answer is option D that is law made by the parliament. Question number 169. Ratio descend die of a case in which of the following? Option A the order of the court in the case. Option B the final decree passed by the court. C the underlying principle or legal reasons on which the result of the case depends. D the part of the judgment which has persuasive effect here in question number 169 the correct answer is option c that is the underlying principle or legal reasons on which the result of the case depends 
क्वेश्चन नंबर 170 द बाइंडिंग फोर्स ऑफ प्रेसिडेंट इज डिस्ट्रॉयड और वीकेंड बाय ऑप्शन ए पब्लिक ओपिनियन ऑप्शन बी एब्रोगेटेड डिसीजन ऑप्शन सी रेस्ट जो डिकाटा एंड ऑप्शन डी लिस्पेंडेंस हेयर करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन बी दैट इज एब्रोगेटेड डिसीजन क्वेश्चन नंबर 171 Who amongst the following wrote the celebrated essay determining ratio decendi of a case? Option A, Winfield. Option B, Oppenheim. Option C, Goodhart. And option D, Julius Stone. Correct answer here is option C. That is Goodhart. Question number one hundred seventy-two. Which of the following is not correct? Option A, judgment of a civil judge is binding on another civil judge of the same court. Option B, law declared by the Supreme Court is binding on the all courts in India. Option C, doctrine of stare decisis means that judicial decisions have a binding force. And D. House of Lords is not bound by its own decision. Here in this question, it has been asked which of the following statement is not correct. Here the option A is not correct, whereas the other options are correct. Question number one hundred seventy-three. Which one of the following statement is true? Option A: The Supreme Court is bound by the decision of the Privy Council. Option B: The Supreme Court is bound by the decision of Federal Court. Option C: The Supreme Court is bound by the decisions of the both Privy Council and Federal Court. And option D. The Supreme Court is not bound by the decisions of Privy Council and Federal Court. Here, correct answer is option D. That is, the Supreme Court is not bound by the decision of the Privy Council and Federal Court. Question number one hundred seventy-four. Assertion: Ratio decendi has binding force. Reason: Obiter dicta has no binding force. Mark the correct answer from the quotes given below. Option A: Both A and R are true, and R is the correct explanation of A. Option B: Both A and R are true, but R is not the correct explanation of A. Option C A is true but R is false and option D A is false but R is true. Here in question number one hundred seventy four, correct answer is option B. That is, both A and R are true but R is not the correct explanation of A. Question number one hundred seventy five. The conclusion reached by the judge on the basis of material facts and on the exclusion of immaterial facts in previous judgment are option A obiter dicta, option B ratio decendi, option C erroneous decision, option D precedent sub silento. Here in question number one hundred seventy-five, correct answer is option B. That is ratio decendi. So we will sum up this video in till question number one seventy-five. For other questions, please watch the another video of this series. And till that, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Hello everyone, welcome back to my Anglaholic. In this video, we will be pursuing the MCQs of jurisprudence. This is the eighth video of the series, and if you want to watch the other videos also, please find the link in the description section. And also, it is a humble request, please subscribe us. Now let us proceed from question number one hundred seventy-six. Give correct response. Option A: The obiter dictum has binding force. Option B: Ratio decendi has binding force. Option C. Ratio decendi and obiter dictum both have binding force, and option D, neither ratio decendi nor obiter dictum has binding force. Here, in this question, correct answer is option B. That is, ratio decendi has binding force. Now, let us proceed to question number one hundred seventy-seven. Which one of the following is incorrect meaning of ratio decendi? Option A, reason for decision. Option B, all principles of law laid down in the decision. Option C, preferred rule of law by judge on which decision is based. And option D, rule of law which others regards as binding. Here in question number one hundred seventy-seven, correct answer is option B. That is, all principles of law laid down in the decision is the incorrect meaning of ratio decendi. Whereas reason for decision, preferred rule of law by judge on which the decision is based, and rule of law which others regard as binding are the Correct meaning of ratio decendi. Question number one hundred seventy-eight. Which one of the following is regarded as unnecessary for a custom to be valid custom under the Indian legal system? Option A, antiquity. Option B, recognition by the courts. Option C, reasonable less. And option D, continuity. Here in question number one hundred seventy-eight, correct answer is option B. That is, recognition by the courts is regarded as an unnecessary for a custom to be a valid custom under the Indian legal system. Now let us proceed to question number one hundred seventy nine. The importance of custom over the other sources of law was stressed by the jurists of the analytical school, historical school, national law school, none of the above. Here in question number one hundred seventy nine, correct answer is option B. That is historical school. Question number one hundred eighty. Custom precedes legislation and hence in superior to it. And a legislation must conform to the principles of custom. This principle is a basic feature of which school? Option A. Sociological school, option B, historical school, option C, analytical school, and option D, natural law school. Here, correct answer obviously is the historical school of jurisprudence. Question number one hundred eighty-one. 
कस्टम इज टू सोसाइटी वट लॉ इज टू द स्टेट इट हैज बीन सेड बाय ऑप्शन ए डाइस ऑप्शन बी सालमन ऑप्शन सी लॉयड एंड ऑप्शन डी फिंच हेयर इन क्वेश्चन नंबर वन हंड्रेड एट्टी वन करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन बी दैट इज सालमन क्वेश्चन नंबर वन हंड्रेड एट्टी टू द ग्रोथ ऑफ कस्टम इन टू लॉ इज एनालॉगस टू द ग्रोथ ऑफ लॉ इट सेल्फ इन एन इन्फेंट सोसाइटी हु सेड इट एलन सेविग्नी मार्क बाय सेलमन हेयर इन क्वेश्चन नंबर वन हंड्रेड एट्टी टू करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन बी दैट इज सेविग्नी क्वेश्चन नंबर वन हंड्रेड एट्टी थ्री विच वन द फॉलोइंग इज एन एसेंशियल एलिमेंट ऑफ ए वैलिड कस्टम ऑप्शन ए कॉन्टिनिटी ऑप्शन बी कंसिस्टेंसी ऑप्शन सी सर्टिनिटी एंड ऑप्शन डी ऑल ऑफ द अब हेयर करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन डी दैट इज ऑल ऑफ द अब क्वेश्चन नंबर 184, विच वन ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज नॉट असेंशियल एलिमेंट ऑफ अ कस्टम ऑप्शन ए सर्टेनिटी ऑप्शन बी रीजनेबलनेस ऑप्शन सी कॉन्टिन्यूंस एंड ऑप्शन डी मॉरल फोर्स हेयर करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन डी मॉरल फोर्स इज नॉट एन असेंशियल एलिमेंट ऑफ अ कस्टम क्वेश्चन नंबर 185, हंड्रेड एट्टी फाइव विच वन द फॉलोइंग इज नॉट एन असेंशियल एलिमेंट ऑफ अ कस्टम ऑप्शन ए अ कस्टम मस्ट बी सर्टेन ऑप्शन बी अ कस्टम मस्ट बी रीजनेबल ऑप्शन सी अ कस्टम मे नॉट हैव बीन practice continuously and option d a custom be in conformity with the statute law here in this question it has been asked which of the following is not an essential element of a custom thereby the correct answer is option c a custom may not have been practiced continuously is not an essential element of a custom whereas a custom must be certain a custom must be reasonable and a custom must be in conformity with the statute law are the essential elements of custom Question number one hundred eighty-six. Which of the following is not an essential element of a valid custom? Antiquity, continuity, uncertainty, peaceful enjoyment. Here, in question number one hundred eighty-six, correct answer is option C. That is, uncertainty is not an essential element of a valid custom. Question number one hundred eighty-seven. Which of the following is not an essential element of custom? Option A, antiquity. Option B, certainty. Option C, peaceful enjoyment. And option D, inconsistency. Here in question number one hundred eighty-seven, correct answer is option D. That is inconsistency, and inconsistency is not an essential element of custom. Question number one hundred eighty-eight. The following jurist does not support the theory of the judge make law. Hart, Holmes, Gray, Dworkin. Here in question number one hundred eighty-eight, correct answer is option D. That is Dworkin does not support the theory that judges make law. Question number one hundred eighty-nine. The constitutional basis of the doctrine. precedent is contained in the following article option a article 136 option b article 141 option c article 226 and option d article 227 here in question number 189 correct answer is option b that is article 141 question number 190 which statement of the following is correct answer with regard to a decision given by per incurium option a decision is binding option b decision is illegal option c decision is unconstitutional and decision option d decision is not binding In question number one hundred ninety, correct answer is option D. That D, that is, decision is not binding. Question number one hundred ninety one. I think adherence to the precedent should be the rule and not the exception. This has been said by option A, Cardozo; option B, Blackstone; option C, Keaton; and option D, Tebot. Here, in question number one hundred ninety one, correct answer is option A. That is, Cardozo. Cardozo has said that I think adherence to the precedent should be the rule and not the exception. Now let us proceed to question number one hundred ninety-two. Dealing with the sources of law, who among the following was said that the courts fuel life into dead words of statute? Option A, Holland. Option B, Gray. Option C, Salmon. And option D, Austin. Here, correct answer is option B. That is Gray. Gray said that the courts fuel life into the dead words of statute. Question number one hundred ninety-three. Who one is the main propounder of declaratory theory of judicial precedent option a blackstone option b gray option c salmon and option d dicey here in question number 193 correct answer is option a that is blackstone question number 194 law is what the judges declares this statement relates to which of the following thinkers option a jerome frank option b julius stone option c gray and option d holmes here in question number 194 correct answer is option c that is gray Question number one hundred ninety-five. Subordinate legislation emanates from option A, any authority other than the sovereign power. Option B, dictators to subordinates. Option C, usage of immemorial antiquity. Option D, any subordinate being. Here in question number one hundred ninety-five, correct answer is option A. That is any authority other than the sovereign power. Question number one hundred ninety-six. A legislation incapable of being replaced, annulled, or controlled by any other legislative authority is called 
ऑप्शन ए डेलीगेटेड लेजिस्लेशन ऑप्शन बी सेली सबॉर्डिनेट लेजिस्लेशन ऑप्शन सी सुप्रीम लेजिस्लेशन एंड ऑप्शन डी जुडिशियल लेजिस्लेशन हेयर इन क्वेश्चन नंबर वन करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन सी दैट इज सुप्रीम लेजिस्लेशन क्वेश्चन नंबर वन Which one of the following is not a means for exercising control over delegated legislation? Option A, parliamentary control. Option B, judicial control. Option C, publication of delegated legislation. And option D, requirement of registration of delegated legislation. Here in question number one hundred ninety-seven, correct answer is option D, requirement of registration of delegated legislation is not a means of exercising control over delegated legislation. Whereas parliamentary control, judicial control, and publication of delegated legislation. a means for exercising control over delegated legislation now let us proceed to question number 198 according to salmond supreme legislation refers to colonial legislation executive legislation judicial legislation law made by the parliament here correct answer is option d that is law made by the parliament is according to salmond is supreme legislation question number 199 which one of the following is not a safeguard against the delegated legislation option a parliamentary control option b judicial control option c publication and option d public control here in question number 199 correct answer is option d that is public control question number 200 which of the following is not a form of subordinate legislation option a colonial legislation option b autonomous legislation option c conditional legislation and option d judicial legislation here correct answer is option c that is conditional legislation is not a form of subordinate legislation So here we will sum up this video and it is a humble request to please like share and subscribe and if you want to watch further videos of the jurisprudence please follow this series carefully now thank you so much thank you for watching please like share and subscribe Hello everyone welcome back to Mayank Lawholic in this video we will be discussing the MCQs of jurisprudence this is the ninth video of the series and if you want to watch other videos also please find the link of the playlist in the description section and also please subscribe to us so now let's get started from question number 201 question number 201 who among the following said that legislation is formal utterance statement of the legislative organs of the society option a dies option b allen option c gray and option d blackstone here in question number 201 correct answer is option c that is gray question number 202 is about the uh, matching the list first and list second list first consists of the source and list second is related is is related to related matter legislation legislation here is ipc that is indian penal code subordinate legislation subordinate uh, subordinate legislation is guest control order custom custom is immemorable origin and precedent is overruling so by going through these matches the correct code here will be in question number 202 option a question number 203 is again the match in between the list first and list second here the correct answer will be the correct match for option a supreme legislation supreme legislation is a law enacted by the legislature question uh, executive legislation correct match is ordinance issued by the president then delegated legislation law enacted by authority other than legislature and then the last conditional legislation it is related to law based on the discretion of the authority so by going through these matches the correct code here is option a question number 204 legal right is an interest option a recognized by the law protected by the law both a and r correct and none of the above here correct answer is option c that is both a and r correct legal right is an interest recognized by law protected by law question number 205 which one of the following is a theory of legal right option a concession theory option b fiction theory option c interest theory and option d bracket theory here correct answer is option c that is interest theory Question number two hundred six. Who among the following has stated that rights spring from right? Option A, 
Allen, option B white man, option C coke and option D black stone. Here correct answer is option A that is Allen. Question number 207. Right in RAM is right against which one of the following? Option A police brutality, option B an individual, option C everyone and option D government. Here correct answer is option C that is everyone. Question number 208. Which one of the following right is a right in repropria? Option A easement, option B license, option C lessees right and option D ownership. Here correct answer is option D that is ownership. Question number 209. Legal rights are legally protected interest. Which one of the following jurists made the above statement? Option A Gray, option B Salmon, option C Iring and option D Holland. Here correct answer is option C that is Iring. Question number 210. Which one of the following statements denotes right in REM? Option A, right to receive rent from the tenant of the farm. Option B, right to right to the peaceable enjoyment of the farm. Option C, right to recover damages for breach of contract. Option D, landlord's right of free entry. Here in question number 10, correct answer is option B, that is right to the peaceable enjoyment of the farm. Question number 211, which one of the following is not an element of legal right? Option A, the subject that is holder of right. Option B, the object of right. Option C, the act of forbearance. And option D, legal remedy. Here in question number 211, correct answer is option B, that is legal remedy. And legal remedy is not an element of legal right. Whereas the subject that is the holder of the right, the object of right and the act of forbearance are the element of legal right. Question number 212. Who has rejected the concept of right as immoral and against the interest of the society? Option A, Lasky. Option B, Edward Jenks. Option C, Buckland. Option D, Dugit. Here in question number 212, correct answer is option D, that is Dugit. Question number 213, a duty arising out of violation of another duty is called option A, legal duty, option B, relative duty, option C, imperfect duty and option D, secondary duty. Here in question number 213, correct answer is option D, that is secondary duty. Question number 214, which one of the following is not a characteristic of a legal right? Option A, person of inheritance, option B, person of incidence, option C, subject matter of right and option D, novation of right. Here in question number 212, correct answer is option D, that is novation of right. Question number 215, legal right is the capacity or power of exacting from another or others acts or forbearance. Who said it? Option A. Holland, option B, Austin, option C, Allen, option D, Salmon. Here in question number 215, correct answer is option A, that is Holland. Question number 216, which one of the following theories does not pertain to legal rights? Option A, social recognition theory, option B, protection theory, option C, will theory and option D, interest theory. Here correct answer is option A, that is social recognition theory. Question number 217, which one of the following are the main theories of legal rights? Option A, Will theory and interest theory, B interest theory and concession theory, C interest theory and realist theory and option D will theory and fiction theory. Here correct answer is option A that is will theory and interest theory. Question number 218. Who has observed that duty is a perspective pattern of behavior? Option A Hart, option C, B Kelson, option C Dice and option D Fuller. Here correct answer is option C that is Dice. Question number 219. Who insisted that rights and duties are necessarily correlative? Option A, Austin. Option B, Kelson. Option C, Pound. And option D, Salmon. Here, correct answer is option D, that is Salmon. Question number 220. Who has rejected the concept of right as immoral and against the interest of the society? Here, options are Dugit, Lasky, Edward Jenks, Buckland. Here, correct answer is option A, that is Dugit. Question number 221. What is the exception to ubi just ibi remedium? Option A, imperfect right. Option B, equitable right. Option C, proprietary right. And option D, corporeal right. Here in question number 221, correct answer is option A, that is imperfect right. Question number 222, A has money in his pocket. This right is a, option A, right in rem. Option B, right in personum. Option C, right, both in rem and personum. Option D, Neither right in REM nor in personum. In question number 222, correct answer is option A, that is right in REM. Question number 223, time barred debt is a perfect right, imperfect right, right is REM, uh, none of the above. Here in question number 223, correct answer is option B, that is imperfect right. Question number 224, which of the following theories relating to legal right has been propounded by a hearing? Here correct answer is option D, that is interest theory. Question number 225, point out the correct answer. A right in personum is, option A, such an interest which is solely available against the 
determinate individuals option b such an interest of an individual which is available against determinate or indeterminate individual option c such an interest of a determinate individual which is available against the world at large and option d such an interest of a determinate individual which is available against any undeterminate person here in question number 225 correct answer is option a that is such an interest which is solely available against the determinate individuals so here we will sum up this video and if you want to watch further videos of the jurisprudence mcqs please follow this playlist series thank you so much please like share and subscribe Hello everyone, welcome back to Mangloholic. In this video, we will be discussing the Jurisprudence MCQ and this is the 10th video in the series of Jurisprudence MCQ. So let's get started from question number 226. Analysis of rights into four juristic correlative was done by Option A. Roscoe Pound Option B. Radin Option C. Hoffeld and Option D. Kokorik. Here, in this question, correct answer is Option C, that is Hoffeld. Question number 227. In which of the following correct the correct correlative is not mentioned option a right duty option b liberty no right option c immunity privilege and option d power liability here in this question it has been asked the following uh, the correct correlative is not mentioned here in question number 227 in uh, immunity privilege here the correct correlative is not mentioned so option c is the correct answer question number 228 point out the incorrect response Option A, liberty and claim are correlative, B, claim and duty are correlative, power and liability are correlative, immunity and disability are correlative. Here we have to find the incorrect response. So, by going through the options, option A is an incorrect response, liberty and claim are correlative is incorrect response. So, therefore, it will be the right answer. Option A is the correct answer. Question number 229, which of the following is a correlative of liberty according to Hoffelt, option A, duty, option B, disability, option C, liability and option D, no right. Here in the in this question, correct answer is option D, that is no right. The correlative of liberty is no right. Question number 230, which one of the following is the correlative of power? Option A, liability, option B, duty, option C, no claims and option C and option D, disability. Here in question number 230, correct answer is option A, that is liability. Match list first with list second and select the correct answer by using the quotes given below in the list. List first. And list second here uh, option a is uh, match a for the in category a privilege the correct match here will be freedom from claim of another duty the correct match here will be gives consent to the claim of a person and power the correct match for this will be ability of a person to change legal relations And, and then C, uh, C will be ability of a person to change legal relations. And then last one, the absolute duty. The correct match for absolute duty is have no, have no correlative claim to another. So by going through these matches, the correct answer here in question number 231 will be option B. Question number 232 is again uh, about matching the list first and list second. So write in REM. The correct answer here will be right to reputation and right in personum. Right in personum, the correct answer will be uh, right to marry and right to repropria. The correct match here will be right to own. And the last right in re alinea is right to weigh. So by going through these matches, the correct option here in this question number 232 will be option C. Now let us proceed to question number 233. To question number 233 is again about matching the list first and list second. Here in list first the type of right is given and list second is about illustration. So let's uh, go through by the option A. The in right, right in re alinea. Here the correct match will be encumbrance. And now right in rem. Right in rem will be right to reputation. Imperfect right, debt claim beyond the limitation period. Here option C will be given. And then personal right, correct answer will be right to alimony. So by going through these matches in question number 233, correct answer will be option D. 
क्वेश्चन नंबर टू हंड्रेड एंड थर्टी फोर हु अमंग फॉलोइंग हैज सेड दैट ओनरशिप इज अ राइट ओवर अ डिटर्मिनेट थिंग इन डिफिनेट इन पॉइंट ऑफ यूजर अनरिस्ट्रिक्टेड इन पॉइंट ऑफ डिस्पोजिशन एंड अनलिमिटेड इन पॉइंट ऑफ ड्यूरेशन हेयर करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन डी दैट इज ऑस्टिन Austin has said that ownership is a right over a determinate thing, indefinite in point of user, unrestricted in point of disposition, and unlimited in point of duration. Question number two hundred and thirty-five. Who said that ownership is a plenary control over an object? Option A, Hibbert. Option B, Austin. Option C, Holland. And option D, Salmond. Here in question number two hundred thirty-five, correct answer is option C. That is Holland. Holland has said that ownership is a plenary control over an object. क्वेश्चन नंबर 236 ओनरशिप कंसिस्ट ऑफ ऑप्शन ए मटेरियल ऑब्जेक्ट ऑप्शन बी पर्सनल राइट्स ऑप्शन सी राइट इन रैम एंड ऑप्शन डी राइट इन पर्सोनम हियर करेक्ट आंसर विल बी ऑप्शन सी दैट इज राइट इन रैम क्वेश्चन नंबर 237 Which theory is not connected with the concept of property? Option A: the natural law theory, the labor theory, the psychological theory, and the realist theory. Here, by going through the correct options, uh, it it has been asked in the question which theory is not connected with the concept of property. So, the realist theory is not connected with the concept of property. That's why it is the correct answer. Option D here is the correct answer. Question number two hundred and thirty-eight. The rights of an owner are indeterminate, determinate, residuary, and indeterminate and residuary. Here in question number two hundred thirty-eight, correct answer is option C. That is residuary. The rights of an owner are residuary. Question number two hundred and thirty-nine. Ownership to patents, copyrights, and trademarks, and the right to an easement is called incorporeal right, corporeal ownership, equitable ownership, contingent ownership. Here, correct answer is option A. That is incorporeal ownership. Question number two hundred and forty. Right of ownership of a partner in a firm is sole ownership, co-ownership, legal ownership, corporal ownership. Correct answer here is option B. That is co-ownership. Question number two hundred and forty-one. Ownership of a ownership of goodwill of a business is incorporal ownership, contingent ownership, limited ownership, beneficial ownership. Correct answer here is option A. That is incorporal ownership. Question number two hundred and forty-two. Point out incorrect response. Ownership is classified in the following ways: corporal and incorporal ownership, mediate and immediate ownership, sole and co-ownership, vested and contingent ownership. Correct answer here is option B. That is mediate and immediate ownership is the incorrect response. That's why it is the correct answer because in the question it has been asked which of the following is incorrect response. Now let us proceed to question number two hundred forty-three. Austin described ownership as a right over a determinate thing with reference to which of the following: indefinite in point of user. Restricted in point of disposition, unlimited in point of duration. Select the correct answer using the code given below. Options are one only, one and three only, two and three, one, two and three. Here in question number two hundred forty-three, correct answer is option B. That is one and three. Indefinite in point of user and unlimited in point of duration. These are the correct answer. Now let us proceed to question number two hundred and forty-four. Which one of the following is not a legal mode of acquisition of possessions? Option A, taking. Option B, delivery. Option C, by acquisition. And option D, by operation of law. Correct answer is option C. That is by acquisition. By acquisition is not a legal mode of acquisition of possession. Whereas taking, delivery, and by operation of law are the legal mode of acquisition of possessions. So in this question, it has been asked which of the following is not a legal mode? By acquisition is not a legal mode. Now let us proceed to question number two hundred and forty-five. Who divides possession into corporal and incorporal? Option A, Pollock. Option B, Holmes. And option C, Salmond. And option D, Holland. Here in question number two hundred forty-five, correct answer is option C. That is Salmond. Salmond divides possession into corporal and incorporal. Question number two hundred and forty-six. Point out the correct answer. Essential element of possession is corporal possessions only. Animus dominus, uh, domini only. Corporal possessions and animus domini both. Neither corporal possession nor Animus domini. Here in question number two hundred and forty-six, correct answer is option C. That is corporus possessionus and animus domini, both. Question number two hundred and forty-seven. Which one of the following is not a correct classification of possession? Option A: possession in fact and possession law, mediate and immediate possession, corporal and incorporal possession, direct and indirect possession. Here in question number two hundred forty-seven, correct answer is option D. That is direct and indirect possession are not correct classification of possession. That's why option D is the correct answer. Whereas possession in fact and possession in law, mediate and immediate possession, corporal and incorporal possession are the correct classification of possession. Now let's proceed to question number two hundred forty-eight. The concept of possession according to Savigny. Must have which of the following ingredients 
ऑप्शन ए एनिमस डोमिनी ओनली ऑप्शन बी कॉर्पस पोजेशनस ओनली ऑप्शन सी एनिमस डोमिनी एंड कॉर्पस पोजेशनस एंड ऑप्शन डी क्वाजी पोजेशियो हेयर इन क्वेश्चन नंबर 248 करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन सी दैट इज एनिमस डोमिनी एंड कॉर्पस पोजेशनस नाउ लेट्स प्रोसीड टू क्वेश्चन नंबर 249 व्हिच इज अबाउट असर्शन एंड रीजनिंग हेयर असर्शन ए दैट इज अ फाइंडर ऑफ अ थिंग हैज टाइटल टू इट रीजन द फाइंडर्स टाइटल टू अ थिंग इज सुपीरियर टू दैट ऑफ द ट्रू ओनर कोड्स आर Both A and R are true, and R is the correct explanation of A. Option B, both A and R are true, but R is not the correct explanation of A. Option C, A is true, but R is false, and option D, A is false, but R is true. Here in question number two hundred forty-nine, correct response will be option C. That is, A is true, but R is false. Now let us proceed to question number two hundred fifty-two, and this will be the last video, uh, last question of this video. And if you want to follow this series, please subscribe to this channel and please also like to this video so that I can get motivated to make videos of other important subjects also. Now let us proceed to question number two hundred fifty. X, a servant finds a bag at the basement of the shop. He hands it over to Y, the owner of the shop, who asks him to place it in the almira. Now the bag is in the possession of option A, X, because he was the finder. Y, because he was the owner of the shop, and C, Y, because in him there was a union of corpus and animus. And option D, A, D. X because he has kept it in the almira. Now in question number two hundred fifty, the correct response, the correct answer will be option C. That is why because in him there was a union of corpus and animus. So that's all for this video. Please like, share, and subscribe to this channel. And if you want to follow this series, please go into the description section and find the consent playlist. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching. Hello everyone, welcome back to Mayank Lawholic. In this video, we are discussing the MCQs of jurisprudence, and we have already discussed around 250 MCQs of jurisprudence. And if you want to follow the series, please go into the description section. You will find the entire playlist over there. So we will be starting this video from question number 251, and we will be furthering from question number 251. Now let's get started. Question number 251. Animus domini is an essential of possession according to option A Savigny, option B Salmon, option C Pollock, and option D Ahering. Here in question number two hundred fifty one, correct answer is option A, that is Savigny. Question number two hundred fifty two. Possession has been recognized under the common law on the principle of best right to possess, better right to possess, possession in time joint possession. Here correct answer is option B, that is better right to possess. Question number two hundred fifty-three. The meaning of the term "mediate possession" is possession acquired through an agent, title of the right, and not the right itself. Voluntary requirement of possession, continuous claim to a thing. Here, in question number two hundred fifty-three, correct answer is option A. That is possession acquired through an agent. Now, let us proceed to question number two hundred fifty-four. Possession is intention coupled with physical power to exclude others from the use of material object. This definition was given by. Here, correct answer is option D. That is Savigny. Question number two hundred and fifty-five. Which one of the following statement is true? The transfer of possession is more technical than the transfer of ownership. The right of possession is superior to that of ownership. The right of possession involves the right to own a property. Animus and corpus are necessary for acquisition of possessions. Here, correct answer is option D. That is, animus and corpus are necessary for the acquisition of possession. Question number two hundred and fifty-six. Which of the following acts protects the possession of India? Option A. Criminal Procedure Code 1973, Specific Relief Act 1963, both A and B, and Option D none. Here in question number 256, correct answer is Option C. That is both A and B. Question number 257. Possession through an agent or servant is an example of immediate possession, incorporeal possession, mediate possession, corporeal possession. Here in question number 257, correct answer is Option C. That is mediate possession. Question number 258. Goods owned by A were put by her in rooms in the house of B with B's permission. The rooms were locked by A's agent who gave the key to C, A's husband, with the permission of A. The possession of the room was with option A, A, option B, agent, option C, B, and option D, C. Here in question number two hundred fifty-eight, correct answer is option D. That is, possession was possession of the room was with C. Question number two hundred fifty-nine. 
हु अमंग द फॉलोइंग हैज नॉट प्रपाउंडेड द थ्योरी ऑफ पोजेशन ऑप्शन इज सेवेगनी ऑप्शन बी सालमेंड ऑप्शन सी पॉलग एंड ऑप्शन डी फ्रिडमैन हेयर इन क्वेश्चन नंबर टू हंड्रेड फिफ्टी नाइन करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन डी फ्रिडमैन हैज नॉट प्रपाउंडेड एनी थ्योरी ऑफ पोजेशन क्वेश्चन नंबर टू हंड्रेड सिक्सटी इज रिलेटेड इज रिलेटेड टू मैचिंग द लिस्ट फर्स्ट एंड लिस्ट सेकेंड हेयर लिस्ट वन कंटेंट्स स्टेटमेंट एंड लिस्ट सेकेंड इज अबाउट द काइंड ऑफ पोजेशन सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड फ्रॉम दी ऑप्शन स्टेटमेंट ए प्रिंसिपल डिपॉजिट्स प्रिंसिपल डिपॉजिट्स गुड्स विद इन एजेंट हेयर करेक्ट आंसर विल बी मीडिएट पोजेशन इन द कैटेगरी ऑफ काइंड ऑफ पोजेशन इट विल बी अ मीडिएट पोजेशन स्टेटमेंट बी बायर परचेजिंग अ बुक फ्रॉम द शॉपकीपर हेयर इट विल बी द इमीडिएट पोजेशन एंड ओनर वियरिंग हिज वॉच इट इज कॉर्पोरियल इट इज कॉर्पोरियल पोजेशन and the last one that is author's copyright of his work it is incorporeal possession so by going through the these matches the correct answer here will be or the correct code will be in question number 260 will be option a now let us proceed to question number 261 one of the important elements in the concept of possession is possessionus which means direct control over object effective control of the object and intention on the part of the possessor to excludes any interference by others and option d an intention to hold the object as owner so in question number 261 correct answer is option b that is effective control of the object now let us proceed to question number 262 which one of the following is not a theory of legal personality option a fiction theory option b concession theory option c interest theory and option d bracket theory here correct answer is option c that is interest theory interest theory is not a theory of legal personality whereas fiction theory concession theory and bracket theory are the theories of legal personality question number 263 who among the following said that there is an essence no difference between the legal personality of a company and that of an individual option a maitland option b dicey option c girk and option d kelson here in question number 263 correct answer is option d that is kelson Kelson has said that there is no difference between the legal personality of a company and that of an individual. Question number two hundred and sixty-four. The statement "King is dead, long live the king" denotes that the king is option A, a natural person, a corporation soul, a corporation aggregate, and option D, not a legal person but a position only. Here in question number two hundred sixty-four, this statement relates to option B, that is a corporation soul. Question number two hundred and sixty-five. Which one of the following theories is proposed by Girk and supported by Maitland in explaining corporate personality? Option A, concession theory. Option B, fiction theory. Option C, realist theory. And option D, symbolist theory. Here in question number two hundred sixty-five, correct answer is option C. That is realist theory. Option question number two hundred and sixty-six. Which one of the following is not a theory of corporate personality? Option A, fiction theory. Option B, realist theory. Option C, bracket theory. And option D, navigate theory. Here, correct answer is option D. That is, navigate theory is not a theory of a corporate personality, whereas fiction theory, realist theory, and bracket theory are the theory of correct corporate personality. But the correct answer here, it has been asked, is not a theory of corporate responsibility. So, in question number two hundred sixty-six, we have to mark the option D as a correct answer. Now, let us proceed to question number two hundred and sixty-seven. What is the theory proposed by Savigny to explain legal personality called option A realistic theory option B fiction theory option C bracket theory and option D purpose theory correct answer is option B that is fiction theory question number 268 which theory of legal personality contemplates that the law is the only source from which legal personality of a corporation may flow option A concession theory option B realist theory option C fiction theory and option D symbolist theory here in question number 268 correct answer is option C that is fiction theory Question number two hundred and sixty-nine. A corporate aggregate is an incorporated group of co-existing persons, an incorporated series of successive persons, a group of legal persons, a group of natural persons. Here, in question number two hundred sixty-nine, correct answer is option A. That is, a corporation aggregate is an incorporated group of co-existing persons. Question number two hundred and seventy. The main purpose of the corporation soul is to make the property easily inheritable, make the property easily transferable, and option C, maintain continuity of an office, and option D, protect the property of the state. Here, correct answer is option C. That is, maintain continuity of an office. Question number two hundred and seventy-one. A person is a person is any being whom the law regards as capable of rights and or rights or duties according to option A, a hiring option B, Alexander Nikam option C, Stone and option D, Salmon. Here, correct answer is option D. That is Salmon. Question number two hundred and seventy-two. A child in the mother's womb is option A, a legal person from the time of conception 
provided it is born alive option b a legal person from the time of conception even if it dies before it is born option c not a legal person option d a legal person the time of conception provided it lives up to seven years here in question number 272 correct answer is option a a legal person from the time of conception provided it is born alive now let us proceed to question number 273 the birth and death of a legal person are determined by option a nature option b custom option c law and option d precedent here correct answer is option c that is law now let us proceed to question number 274 which one of the following theories is not connected with the theory of corporate personality here options are fiction theory realist theory concession theory interest theory correct answer here is option d that is interest theory question number 275 who among the following has defined a legal person as an entity to which right and duty may be attributed option a salmon option b patent option c gray and option d dies here correct answer is option c that is gray Gray has defined a legal person as an entity to which a right and duty may be attributed. So here we will wind up this video and for the further questions please like share and subscribe to this channel and we will be making more videos for the jurisprudence MCQs. Hello everyone, welcome back to Mayank Loholic. In this video, we will be discussing the MCQs of jurisprudence. This will be the 12th video in the playlist series of jurisprudence MCQ. And we are starting from the question number 276. If you want to watch other videos also, please find the playlist in the description section and also subscribe to us. So now let's get started from question number 276. Which of the following theory of corporate personality has another name also that is organic theory. Option A Hoffelt's theory, option B fiction theory, option C realist theory and option D concession theory. Here in question number 276 correct answer is option C that is realist theory. Question number 277 in law there is a fiction that a child in ventre samire is a person in being for the purpose of punishment for abortion, acquisition of property, creation of partnership, claiming compensation in torts. Here in question number 277, correct answer is option B, that is acquisition of property. Question number 278, the bracket theory in jurisprudence is related to which of the following? Ownership, ratio, descendi, legal personality, possession. Correct answer here is option C, that is legal personality. The bracket theory in jurisprudence is related to legal personality. Question number 279, fiction theory is related to which of the following concepts? Ownership, liability, justice, legal personality. Correct answer here is option D, that is legal personality. Question number 280, which one of the following is not a legal person? Option A, idol of god is durga option b state of kerala option c a registered registered society and option d a mosque in question number 280 the correct answer is option d that is mosque mosque is not a legal person whereas option a b and c fall into the category of a legal person now let us proceed to question number 281 which of the following is are held as a legal person option a beast option b dead man option c corporation option four an ideal here in question number 281 correct answer will be option b that is three and four corporation and ideal idol question number 282 an idol of lord krishna in a temple is a natural person a legal person not a person in the eye of law because only priest of the temple will be the person and option d not a person because no personality can be conferred on god here in question number 282 correct answer is option b that is a legal person an idol of lord krishna in a temple is a legal person Question number 283. Which one of the following is a legal person? President of India, Prime Minister of India, Union of India, Parliament of India. Correct answer here is option C that is Union of India. Union of India is a legal person. Question number 284. Who is a legal person? Option A an idol. Option B, an animal. Option C, cabinet. And option D, a judge. Here in question number 284, correct answer is option A. An idol is a legal person. Question number 285. Which one of the following is not a theory of corporate personality? Option A, fiction theory. Option C, B, bracket theory. Option C, realist theory. And option D, will theory. In question number 285, correct answer is option D. That is, will theory is not a theory of corporate personality. Whereas, fiction, bracket and realist theory are the theories of corporate, person corporate personality. Question number 286 is about matching the list first and list second 
so let us start from the list one uh, statement uh, a bracket theory bracket theory is related to legal person will theory will theory is related to legal right and then corpus animus corpus animus is related to possession and the last one obiter dictum it is related to doctrine of precedent so by going through these matches correct code will be option d again question number 287 is also about matching the list first and list second uh, list first contains the theories and the list second contains the name of the exponent of theories now purpose theory purpose theory is related to brins bracket theory bracket theory is related to hiring and fiction theory fiction theory is related to salmon whereas the realist theory is related to girk so by going through these matches the correct code will be option a question number 288 which of the following combination is are correct theory of corporate personality and the propounder of theory realist girk symbolist savagni fiction hiring select the correct answer by using the quotes given below here the quotes are option d that is one alone is the correct answer that is realist girk question number 289 Which of the following is not a theory? Option A: Preventive theory, social interest theory, deterrent theory, retributive theory. Here in question number two hundred eighty-nine, correct answer is option B. Social interest theory is not a theory, whereas preventive, deterrent, and retributive are the theories of punishment. Question number two hundred and ninety: The cancellation of the driving license of a person is an example of expiration theory, preventive theory, reformative theory, deterrent theory. Correct answer here is option B. That is preventive theory. Preventive theory. is the example of the cancellation of driving license of a person question number 291 which one of the following theories of punishment implies that a crime is a disease and the object should be to cure the disease option a preventive theory deterrent theory reformative theory retributive theory correct answer here is option c that is reformative theory question number 292 the word jurisprudence is of option a greek origin option b roman origin option c latin origin and option d hindu origin here in question number 292 correct answer is option c that is latin origin question number 293 the word jurisprudence is derived from latin word jurisprudentia which means study of law the origin of law knowledge of law and none of the above here in question number 293 the correct answer will be knowledge of law jurisprudence is derived from the latin word jurisprudentia which means knowledge of law Question number two hundred ninety four. Who divided jurisprudence into general and particular jurisprudence? Option A, Austin. Option B, Gray. Option C, Salmon. And option D, Holland. Here, correct answer is option A. That is Austin. Austin divided jurisprudence into general and particular jurisprudence. Question number two hundred ninety five. Who categorized the subject of jurisprudence as expo, expositorial jurisprudence and censorial jurisprudence? Option A, Holland. Option B, Bentham. Option C, Kelsen. And option D, Payton. Here, in question number two hundred ninety five, correct answer is option B. That is Bentham. Question number two hundred and ninety-six. Who defined jurisprudence as shining but unfulfilled dream of a world governed by reason? Option A. Jenks. Option B. Salmon. Option C. Arnold. And option D. Pound. Here in question number two hundred ninety-six, correct answer is option C. That is Arnold. Arnold. Question number two hundred ninety-seven. Who defined jurisprudence as a body of ordered knowledge which deals with the particular species of law? Option A. Salmon. Option B. Pound. Option C. Patterson. And option C. Arnold. Here in question number two hundred ninety-seven, correct answer is option C. That is Patterson. Question number two hundred ninety-eight. Who defined jurisprudence as a formal science of a positive law? Here in question number two hundred ninety-eight, correct answer is option C. That is Holland. Question number two hundred ninety-nine. Law consists of the rules recognized. And acted upon by the courts of justice. Who said this? Option A, Allen. Option B, Gray. Option C, Salmon. And option D, Kelson. Here, correct answer is option C. That is Salmon. Question number three hundred. A law in its most comprehensive significance, signification of a rule laid down for the guidance for an intelligent being by an intelligent being having power over him. This view was expressed by. Here, correct answer is option C. That is Austin. Hello everyone welcome back to Mangloholic 
in this playlist series we will be discussing the mcqs of jurisprudence uh, here i also want to give a little information if you want to watch other videos also please subscribe us and uh, for this juris mcq playlist series please find a link in the description section so now let's get started from the question number 301 and this is the 13th video in the playlist series who said these law is a fictional entity made up of an aggregate of individual laws option a allen option b austin option c bentham and option d kelson here correct answer is option c that is bentham Question number 302. Who said law is not to be deduced from the rule but the rule from the law? Hobbes, Paul, Paulus, Blackstone, Hegel. Correct answer here is option B that is Paulus. Question number 303. It is generally agreed that the definition of law has consumed so much time and energy because the notion of law is different in different countries. Law is a very difficult uh, subject. It is surrounded with philosophical perplexities and D there is linguistic variations on the issue. Here correct answer is option A. The notion of law is different in different countries. Question number 304. The expression law in relation to jurisprudence means law in its abstract sense only option B, positive sense only option C, fundamental legal principles and option D theories of punishments. Here correct answer is option C that is fundamental legal principles. The expression law in relation to jurisprudence means fundamental legal principles. Question number 305. Who made the distinction between the term jurisprudence in its generic and specific cases? Option A, Bentham. Option B, Pound. Option C, Salmon. And Option D, Austin. Here, correct answer is Option C, Salmon. Question number 306. Salmon divided jurisprudence into analytical school, historical school, ethical school, all of the above. Correct answer is Option D, that is all of the above. Question number 307. The book written by Bentham is Option A. The limits of jurisprudence defined option B. The province of jurisprudence determined option C. A plea for the constitution and option D on parliamentary government. Here in question number 307, correct answer is option A. The book written by Bentham is the limits of the jurisprudence defined. Question number 308. What is true regarding Bentham? Option A. He is the founder of analytical positivist school. Option B. He was a champion of codified laws that is legislation. Option C. He distinguished expositorial jurisprudence from censorial jurisprudence. And option D. All of the above. Here correct answer is option D. That is all of the above. All these statements regarding Bentham are true. Question number 309. Who said this? Bentham's work was intended to provide the indispensable introduction to a civil code. Option A, Austin. Option B, Friedman. Option C, Payton. And Option D, Keaton. Here, correct answer is Option C, that is Payton. Payton said that Bentham's work was intended to provide indispensable introduction to a civil code. Question number 310. Who among the following does not belong to the analytical school? Options are Austin, Salmon, Holland, Savigny. Here correct answer is option D, Savigny. Savigny does not belong to the analytical school. Question number 311. Who has made distinction between law properly so called and law improperly so called? Option A, Jeremy Bentham. Option B, G. W. Payton. Option C, John Austin. And option D, O. W. Holmes. Here correct answer is option C. That is John Austin. Now let us proceed to question number 312. Austin's theory of law can be found in his work titled Province of Jurisprudence Determined through which he meant to convey the idea that options are option A the subject matter of jurisprudence was large till then option B the applicability of laws differed from province to province option C the subject matter of divine laws etc do not fall within the purview of jurisprudence and option D the subject matter of divine laws, etc. fall within the purview of jurisprudence. Here in question number 312, correct answer is option C. That is, the subject matter of divine laws, etc. do not fall within the purview of jurisprudence. Question number 313. Austin's book, The Province of Jurisprudence Determined is Option A, his autobiography. Option C, his lectures delivered at University of London. And option C, his answer to an essay by Gray on parliamentary government. And option D, none of the above. Here in question number 313, correct answer is option B. That is, his lectures delivered at University of London. Question number 314, according to Austin, law improperly so-called includes laws by metaphor, 
laws by laws of analogy and option c laws by fashion and option d all of the above here in question number 314 correct answer is option d that is all of the above according to austin law improperly so called includes laws by metaphor laws by analogy laws by fashion question number 315 what is true options a According to Austin, law is a command laid down by a political superior. Option B. According to Austin, science of law is concerned with law as it is and not what ought to be. Option C. According to Austin, the subject matter of jurisprudence consists of positive laws. And option D. All of the above. Here in question number 315, correct answer is option D. That is all of the above. Now let us proceed to question number 316. What are the criticism regarding to Austin? Option A. Austin ignored custom. Option B. Austin ignored judge made law. And option C. Austin extended the law to rules set by private person. And option D. All of the above. Here in question number 316, correct answer is option D. That is all of the above. Are the criticism regarding Austin? Question number 317. According to Austin, international law comes under option A, divine law, option B, positive morality, option C, law properly so called and option D, none of the above. Here in question number 317, correct answer obviously is option B, that is positive morality. Question number 318. Who calls Austin's analytical school as imperative school? Option A, Gray, option B, Salmon, option C, Allen and option D, Holland. Here in question number 318, correct answer is option C, that is Allen. Allen calls Austin's analytical school as imperative school. Question number 319. Where there is a law, their human conduct is made in some sense non-optional or optional or obligatory is said by Professor H. L. Hart. Option B. John Austin. Option C. Bentham. And option D. Selman. Here the correct option is option A. That is Professor H. L. Hart. Question number 320. Austinian law requires command, duty, sanction, all of the above. Correct answer here is obviously answered uh, option D that is all of the above. Austinian law requires command, duty and sanction. Question number 321. For a systematic exposition of the methods of English jurisprudence, we will have to turn to Austin. Who said these words? Option A. Gray. Option B. Patterson. Option C. Blackstone. And option D. Allen. Here correct answer obviously is option D that is Allen. Allen said that for a systematic exposition of the methods of English jurisprudence, we will have to turn to Austin. Question number 322. Which of the following books is written by Professor Hart? Option A. The Limits of Jurisprudence Defined. Option B. On Parliamentary Government. Option C. The Province of Jurisprudence Determined. And Option D. The Concept of Law. Here correct answer is Option D. That is the Concept of Law. Professor Hart written the book The Concept of Law. Question number 323. What is true about Hart? Option A. He explained. He expanded his legal theory based on the relationship between law and society. Option B. He was a professor of jurisprudence at Oxford. Option C. His classic work is concept of law. And option D. All of the above. Here correct answer is option D. All of the above. All the, all the given options are correct as per the option D. Question number 324. The remedy for static quality of primary rules is the introduction of Option A. Rules of alteration, rules of change, rules of innovation, rules of modification. Correct answer here is Option B. That is rules of change. The remedy for static quality of primary rules is the introduction of rules of change. Question number 325. The book Elements of Jurisprudence was authored by Option A. Holland, Option B. Hart, Option C. Bentham and Option D. Jethro Brown. Here, correct answer is option A, that is Holland. The book Elements of Jurisprudence was authored by Holland. So here we will wind up this video and thank you for watching the entire video. Please support us by subscribing this channel. Thank you so much. Hello everyone, welcome back to My Anglaholic. In this playlist series, we will be discussing the MCQs of jurisprudence. Here, I also want to give you a little information. If you want to watch other videos also, please subscribe this channel and for Juris MCQs, find playlist link in the description section. So, let's get started from question number 326. Kelsen's theory says that every act has two levels of existence, that is, Social and political, psychological and physical, physical and social and option D, none of the above. Here correct answer is option C, that is physical and social. Kelsen's theory says that every act has two levels of existence, that is physical and social. 
क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी सेवन अकॉर्डिंग टू कैल्सन थ्योरी अ लीगल ऑर्डर इज अ कोर्सिव ऑर्डर परस्पेक्टिव ऑर्डर प्रिमिसिव ऑर्डर पॉजिटिव ऑर्डर हेयर करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन ए दैट इज कोर्सिव ऑर्डर क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी एट प्रोफेसर एच एल ए हार्ट्स कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ लॉ हैज बिन क्रिटिसाइज बाई रोनल्ड डॉकिन फुलर फ्रेड बैन एंड ऑल ऑफ द अब हेयर करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन डी दैट इज ऑल ऑफ द अब क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी नाइन अकॉर्डिंग टू हॉलैंड पॉजिटिव लॉ मीन्स ऑप्शन ए एक्चुअल एग्जिस्टेंस ऑफ लॉ एज डिस्टिंग्विश फ्रॉम आइडियल लॉ ऑप्शन बी ऑल नॉर्म्स प्रिवेलिंग इन सोसाइटी ऑप्शन सी द आइडियल लॉ विच शुड एग्जिस्ट एंड ऑप्शन डी ऑल ऑफ द अब हेयर करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन ए अकॉर्डिंग टू हॉलैंड पॉजिटिव लॉ मीन्स एक्चुअल एग्जिस्टेंस ऑफ लॉ एज डिस्टिंग्विश फ्रॉम आइडियल लॉ क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री हंड्रेड एंड थर्टी अकॉर्डिंग टू हॉलैंड जूरिस्पूडेंस इज फॉर्मल साइंस बिकॉज ऑप्शन ए इट डज नॉट डील विद द फंडामेंटल प्रिंसिपल्स ऑफ अंडरलाइंग लॉ ऑप्शन बी इट डील्स विद फंडामेंटल प्रिंसिपल्स अंडरलाइंग लॉ ऑप्शन सी इट डील्स विद कॉन्क्रीट डिटेल्स ऑफ लॉ एंड ऑप्शन डी नॉन ऑफ द अब हेयर इन क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री हंड्रेड थर्टी करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन बी इट डील्स विद द फंडामेंटल प्रिंसिपल्स अंडरलाइंग लॉ क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री हंड्रेड थर्टी वन प्योर थ्योरी ऑफ लॉ इज प्रोपाउंडेड बाई ऑप्शन ए वियना स्कूल ऑप्शन बी फ्रेंच स्कूल ऑप्शन सी रोमन स्कूल एंड ऑप्शन डी इंग्लिश स्कूल द करेक्ट आंसर अमंग दैम इज ऑप्शन ए दैट इज वियना स्कूल प्योर थ्योरी ऑफ लॉ इज प्रोपाउंडेड बाई वियना स्कूल क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री हंड्रेड एंड थर्टी टू नेचुरल लॉ थ्योरी हैज गेन्ड अट्रैक्शन लार्जली बिकॉज इट इज यूनिवर्सली एक्सेप्टेड इट इज फिलोसफिकल इन नेचर एंड स्पॉन्टेनियसली फॉर्मुलेटेड ऑप्शन सी इट इज एज ओल्ड एंड एस्टैब्लिश इट एंड ऑप्शन डी इट प्रोमिस टू फाइंड अ कॉमन मॉरल ग्राउंड फॉर डिफरेंट रिलीजन्स एंड आउटलुक्स हेयर इन क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री हंड्रेड एंड थर्टी टू करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन बी इट इज फिलोसफिकल इन नेचर एंड स्पॉन्टेनियसली फॉर्मुलेटेड क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री हंड्रेड थर्टी थ्री Every legal system has a distinct grand norm. Its forms are different in different legal system. For example, it is in Britain a crown in Parliament. Option B, a constitution in USA or will or the dictator. And option C, principles of pacta sunt servanda in the international law. And option D, all of the above. Here, correct answer is option D. That is all of the above. Here, option D is the correct answer. Question number three hundred thirty-four. Who has criticized Kelsen's pure theory of law as an exercise in logic and not in real life? Holmes, Maine, Dugit, Harold Lasky. Here, correct answer is option D. That is Harold Lasky. Harold Lasky has criticized the Kelsen's pure theory of law as an exercise in logic and not in real life. Question number three hundred thirty-five. Which one of the following statement is not related to natural law school? Option A: Evolution of any part of the law must be done in terms of its effects. B: There is a connection between means and ends. C: Juris justice originates in pure practical reason. And option D: Law consists of means of achieving ends. Here in question number three hundred thirty-five, correct answer is option A. That is, evolution of any part of law must be done in terms of its effects. Question number three hundred thirty-six. In the dark age natural law was given a new interpretation by option A St Augustine option B Thomas Aquinas option C Plato and option D Socrates here in question number 336 correct answer is option A that is St Augustine in the dark age natural law was given a new interpretation by St Augustine question number 337 which philosopher of the middle ages gave a new theory of natural law St Thomas Aquinas Plato Spinoza and st agustin here correct answer in question number 337 is option a that is st thomas aquinas question number 339 is about matching the list first and list second here in list first a thomas aquinas thomas aquinas is related to dictates of reasoning john austin john austin is related to command theory kelson kelson is related to normative order and then the last option d that is rawls rawls is related to theory of justice by going through these matches the correct code here will be in question number 338 will be a now let us pro proceed to question number 339 who said this natural law is akin to reason which governs the entire universe and a man being a part of universe is also governed by reason option a girk option b cicero option c stoics and option d aquinas here in question number 339 correct answer is option c that is stoics question number 340 in case of ak kripak versus union of india supreme court emphasize that importance of which school of jurisprudence option a philosophical school option b analytical view option c historical school and option d natural law 
हेयर करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन डी दैट इज नेचुरल लॉ क्वेश्चन नंबर 341 व्हिच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग आर करेक्ट स्टेटमेंट्स ऑफ लॉक अकॉर्डिंग टू लॉक द स्टेट ऑफ नेचर वाज अ गोल्डन एज बट प्रॉपर्टी वाज इनसिक्योर इन ऑर्डर टू सिक्योर प्रॉपर्टी मैन इंटर्ड इनटू अ सोशल कॉन्ट्रैक्ट एंड ऑप्शन सी अंडर दिस कॉन्ट्रैक्ट मैन डिड नॉट सरेंडर ऑल हिज राइट्स बट रिटेन्ड हिज इनएलिएनेबल राइट टू लाइफ लिबर्टी एंड एस्टेट एंड ऑप्शन डी ऑल ऑफ द अबव हियर इन क्वेश्चन नंबर 341 करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन डी दैट इज ऑल ऑफ द अबव हियर ऑल द गिवन ऑप्शंस आर करेक्ट Now let us proceed to question number 342 who interpreted natural law as a set of principles of practical reasonableness in ordering human society option C option A Kohler option B Grotius option C Finnis and option D Stamler here correct answer is option C that is Finnis question number 343 who described natural law theory as false non scientific and based on the supernatural beliefs option a kelson option b bentham option c hart and option d august comte here correct answer is option d that is august comte question number 344 the founder of historical school of jurisprudence is option a montesquieu option b savigny option c ehlrich and option d holmes here correct answer is option b that is savigny savigny is the founder of the historical school of jurisprudence Question number three hundred and forty-five. Which of the following jurist has laid down the concept of causa instrumentalis and causa principalis of law? Option A. Pushta. Option B. Savigny. Option C. Mayan. And option C. Bryce. Here, correct answer is option A. That is Pushta. Question number three hundred and forty-six. Who is known as a Darwinian before Darwin and a sociologist? Option A. Savigny. Option B. Pushta. Option C. Montesquieu. Option D. Stamler. Here, correct answer is option A. That is Savigny. Question number three hundred and forty-seven. Which is true regarding Savigny? Option A. He was a teacher in the University of Berlin. Option B. He propounded a theory of general or popular consciousness, that is Foxist. Option C. He opposed the codification of the German law on the Napoleonic Code. And option D. All of the above. Here, correct answer is option D. That is all of the above. All the options related to Savigny are correct. Question number three hundred forty-eight. The fault of the historical school of jurisprudence lies in. Option A, recognizing the empirical basis of law. Option B, not recognizing the empirical basis of law. Option C, holding that law is a product of social evolution. And option D, identify custom with the law itself. Here in question number three hundred forty-eight, correct answer is option D. That is identifying custom with the law itself. Question number three hundred forty-nine, who has criticized Savigny for his juristic pessimism? Option A, Roscoe Pond. Option C. Besoler option C Girk and option C Echiron here correct answer is option A that is Roscoe Pond Question number 350 the movement of progressive societies has hitherto been a movement from status to contract who propounded the above view status to contract option A Savigny option B Mine option C Pushta and option D Ahering here correct answer is option B that is Mine So we will wind up this video over here and thank you for watching the entire video please support us by subscribing this channel thank you so much Hello everyone welcome back to Mayank Loholic uh, in this playlist series we will be discussing the mcqs of jurisprudence here i also want to give you a little information if you want to watch other videos also please go into the description section and you will find a playlist over there and please also support us by subscribing this channel now let's get started from question number 351 who said these The historical movement in jurisprudence may be called the revolt of fact against fancy. Option A, Allen. Option B, Stamler. Option C, Bryce. Option D, Maitland. Here, correct answer is option A. That is Allen. Question number three hundred fifty-two. Who is famously labeled as social Darwinist? Option A, Pushta. Option B, Savigny. Option C, Hugo. And option D, Mine. Here, correct answer is option D. That is Mine. Question number three hundred fifty-three. Which of the following is true regarding Sir Henry Mine? Option A, he was a propounder of the historic historic comparative school of jurisprudence. Option B, he was the law member in the Council of Governor General of India between 1861 and 1869. Option C, his famous work includes Ancient Law, Village Communities, History of Illustration, etc. And option D, all of the above. Here, 
इन क्वेश्चन नंबर 353 करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन डी दैट इज ऑल ऑफ द अब क्वेश्चन नंबर 354 हु इज नोन एज द सोशल यूटिलिटेरियन ऑप्शन ए ड्यूगेट ऑप्शन बी एहलरिक ऑप्शन सी पाउंट एंड ऑप्शन डी आहरिंग हेयर करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन डी दैट इज आहरिंग आहरिंग इज नोन एज सोशल यूटिलिटेरियन क्वेश्चन नंबर 355 दिस स्टेटमेंट देयर इज नो डिस्टिंक्शन बिटवीन पब्लिक एंड प्राइवेट लॉ इज एट्रिब्यूटेड टू कॉम्टे Spencer, Duguid, Ehlerich. Here, correct answer is option C. That is Duguid. Question number three hundred fifty-six. Professor Allen, Professor Allen describes Pound's approach of social engineering as extra legal jurisprudence, experimental jurisprudence, political jurisprudence, phenomenological jurisprudence. Here, correct answer is option B. That is experimental jurisprudence. Question number three hundred fifty-seven is about matching the list first and list second. So duguid duguid is related to social solidarity, whereas pound pound is related to social engineering. Rousseau is related to social contract, and Ahering is related to social utilitarianism. So by going through these matches again i am repeating the list 1 and list 2 duguid is related to social solidarity pound is related to social engineering rousseau is related to social contract and ahering is related to social utilitarianism so therefore the correct code here will be option a question number 358 who is known as the father of sociological jurisprudence in america comte allen hugo rosco pond correct answer is option a option d that is rosco pond Question number three hundred fifty nine. Which jurist has evolved the concept of jural postulates? Option A. Rosco Pond. Option B. Bentham. Option C. Duguid. And option D. Ehlerick. Here, correct answer is option A. That is Rosco Pond. Question number three hundred sixty. Who propounded certainty of law is a myth? Option A. Analyst. Option B. Positivist. Option C. Realist. And option D. None of these. Here, correct answer is option C. That is realist. Question number three hundred sixty one. Who appointed that realist school appears as an an As another avatar of the or the sociological jurisprudence, option A, Allen; option B, Julius Stone; option C, Friedman; and option D, Frank. Correct answer here is option A. That is Allen. Question number three hundred and sixty-two. Who is the founding father of the realist movement in Sweden? Option A, Allen; option B, Hagerstrom; option C, Frank; and option D, Pound. Here, correct answer is option B. That is Hagerstrom. Question number three hundred and sixty-three. Who said? There is no realist school as such. It is only movement in thought and work about law. Here, correct answer is option D. That is Duguid. Question number three hundred and sixty-four. Who is regarded as a spiritual father of the realist school? Option A. Gray. Option B. Holmes. Option C. Pound. And option D. Duguid. Correct answer here is option B. That is Holmes. Question number three hundred and sixty-five. The principal exponent of pragmatism, which led to the development of realism later, Jeremy Frank or W. Holmes. William Jones and Rosco Pond here correct answer is option C that is William Jones question number 366 in civil criminal justice wrongs are divisible into good and bad punishable and non punishable public and private enforceable and non enforceable correct answer here is option C that is public and private question number 367 those sources from which the law derives its force and validity are known as formal sources of law material sources of law legal sources of law historical sources of law here correct answer is option a that is formal sources of law question number 368 the essential of a valid custom includes antiquity certainty consistency all of the above correct answer obviously here is option d that is all of the above question number 369 delegated legislation means the law that is delivered by lower judiciary b the law made by the state legislatures option c the law made by the administrative bodies and option d the law made by the governor through ordinance here correct answer is option c that is the law made by the administrative bodies question number 370 which part of the judgment establishes the precedent that is to be followed by the lower courts option a ratio decidendi option b obiter dicta option c the facts that are identified as binding by the judge and option d the section of judgment entitled precedent here correct answer is option d that is the section of judgment entitled precedent question number 371 opinion of jurist is option a general source of law historical material source of law legal material source of law not a source of law correct answer here is option b that is historical material source of law 
क्वेश्चन नंबर 372 अकॉर्डिंग टू हॉलैंड कस्टम बिकम्स लॉ व्हेन इट इज अडॉप्टेड बाय कोर्ट्स व्हेन इट इज अडॉप्टेड बाय पीपल व्हेन इट इज अडॉप्टेड एज लॉ बाय द स्टेट रिकॉग्निशंस नॉन ऑफ द अबव हियर करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन सी अकॉर्डिंग टू हॉलैंड कस्टम बिकम्स लॉ व्हेन इट इज अडॉप्टेड एज लॉ बाय द स्टेट रिकॉग्निशन क्वेश्चन नंबर 373 द स्टेटमेंट्स प्रेसिडेंट्स आर द पास्ट डिसीजंस व्हिच आर यूज्ड एज गाइड इन द मोल्डिंग ऑफ फ्यूचर डिसीजंस इज एट्रिब्यूटेड टू डाइस ग्रे कीटन नॉन ऑफ द अबव here correct answer is option a that is dice question number 374 according to keaton persuasive source of law are divided into principles of equity professional opinions writings of jurists etc all of the above here in question number 374 correct answer is all of the above according to keaton persuasive source of law are principles of equity professional opinions writing of jurists and all the above options are correct and the last question of this video question number 375 the law declared by the supreme court is binding on all courts within the country of india but the supreme court is not bound by its own decision itself was decided by the supreme court in option a keshavananda bharti versus state of kerala option b indra nehru gandhi versus raj narayan madhav rao sindhya versus union of india and option d bengal immunity company limited versus state of bihar correct answer here is option d that is bengal immunity community limited versus state of bihar so that's all we will wind up this video over here thank you for watching entire video please support us by subscribing this channel thank you so much thank you for watching Hello everyone welcome back to my anglaholic this is the 16th video or we can categorically say that this is the last video in the playlist series of jurisprudence mcq and uh, i also want to give a little information over here that if you want to watch other videos also please subscribe this channel and for jurisprudence mcq find playlist in the description section so now let's get started from question number 376 the most important instrument of legal reform is option a legislation option b custom option c precedent and option d writing of legal experts here correct answer is option a that is legislation question number 377 in the statement every right involves a relationship between two or more x persons and only then they can be bound by duties or be the holders of legal rights X stand for option A insane, option B sane, option C human, and option D legal. Correct answer here is option D that is legal. Every right involves a relationship between two or more legal persons, and only then they can be bound by duties or be the holders of legal rights. X stands here for legal. Question number three hundred and seventy-eight. A has money in his pocket. This right is a right in rem, right in personam, right both in rem and in personam. Neither a right in rem nor in personam. Here, correct answer is option A. That is right in rem. Question number three hundred and seventy-nine. What is true? Option A. Judicial precedent is an important source of law. Option B. Precedents may be the authoritative or persuasive. Option C. Authoritative precedent is one which has a binding force and a judge must follow it. And option D. All of the above. Here, correct answer is option D. That is all of the above. All the options are correct. Question number three hundred and eighty. In common parlance, right is option A, the standard of permitted action within a certain sphere. Option B, the minimum permitted behavior. Option C, both A and B, and option D, none of the above. Here, correct answer is option A. In common parlance, the right is the standard of permitted action within a certain sphere. Question number three hundred and eighty-one. Which of the following acts protect the possessions concepts? Option A, Criminal Procedure Code nineteen seventy three, Specific Relief Act nineteen sixty three, both A and B, and none of the above. Here, correct answer is option option C. Oh, sorry. Uh, which of the following acts protect the possession concepts? So, possession concepts are only covered in the Specific Relief Act nineteen sixty three. So, option B will be the here correct answer. Question number three hundred eighty two. Real and personal rights are also called option A, proprietary and personal rights. B positive and negative rights, right in rem and right in personam, right in proporia and rights in re alienia. Here, correct answer is option C. That is right in rem and right in personam are the real and personal rights are also called as right in rem and right in personam. Question number three hundred and eighty-three. Primary and sanctioning rights are called option A. Primary and accessory rights, antecedents and remedial right, vested and contingent right, none of the above. 
here correct answer is option b that is antecedent and remedial right question number 384 the theory of dual relationship was propounded by option a john rawls option b ronald dworkin option c robert nozick option c hoffeld here correct answer is option d that is hoffeld question number 385 what is called as just a drum option a right vested in some person option b right which originated from another another right option c right vested in some other person and option d none of the above correct answer here is option b that is right which originated from another right question number 386 right is the authority to compel who said these buckland option c blackstone option c kant and option c th green correct answer here is option c that is kant option question number 387 who defined right as an inherent attribute to human will? Option A, Ahering. Option B, Holland. Option C, Payton. Option C, Douglas Holmes. Here, correct answer is option C, that is Douglas Holmes. Question number 388. Option A, uh, Salmond has preferred to use in place of the term right. Option A, Liberty. Option B, Claim. Option C, Power. And option D, Duty. Correct answer is option B, that is Claim. Question number 389. An example of an imperfect right. Option A, right to reputation, time bar debt. Option C, not to commit nuisance. And option D, none of the above. Correct answer here is option B, that is time bar debt. An example of an imperfect right. Question number 390. An idol of Lord Krishna in a temple is a natural person, a legal person, not a person in the eye of law because only the priest of the temple will be a person. And option D, not a person because no personality can become conferred with the on god here correct answer is option b that is a legal person an idol of lord krishna in a temple is a legal person question number 391 the meaning of corporation soul is a group of persons a single owner of an incorporated company and incorporated series of successive persons none of the above here correct answer is option c that is an incorporated series of successive persons question number 392 Will theory of legal right has been supported by Hegel, Hume, Kant, all of the above? Correct answer here is option D, that is all of the above. Question number 393. The main proponent of interest theory is option A, Hegel, option B, Hume, option C, Ahering, and option D, Kant. Here, correct answer is option C, that is Ahering. The main proponent of interest theory is Ahering. Question number 394. The main exponent of realist theory of corporate personality is Hoffeld, Girk, Burke, and Salmon. Here correct answer is option B that is Girk. Question number 395. The word person is of Latin origin, Greek origin, Roman origin, English origin. Correct answer here is option A that is Latin origin. Question number 396. Fiction theory is related to which of the following concepts? Option A ownership, option B liability, option C possession and option D legal personality. Correct answer here is option D that is legal personality. Question number 397. The birth and death of the legal persons are determined by option A, nature, option B, custom, option C, law and option D, precedent. Correct answer is option C, that is law. An animal is a question, option A, natural person, option B, legal person, option C, either legal or natural, and option D, not a person. Correct answer here is option D, that is not a person. Question number 399. Which of the following is a legal personality? Option A, Shivalingam. Option B, Bible. Option C, Guru Granth Sahib. And option D, all of the above. Correct answer here is option D. That is all of the above. All the given options have the legal personality. Question number 400. Animus Domini is an essential of possession according to option A, Savigny. Option B, Salmon. Option C, Pollock. Option D, Ahering. Correct answer is option A. That is Savigny. Question number 401. If X has borrowed a book from Y, option A, Y is in immediate possession of the book, option B, Y is not in the immediate possession of the book, option C, X is in the immediate possession of the book and D, Y is in the corporal possession of the book. Here correct answer is option A, that is, Y is in the immediate possession of the book. Question number 402. Which of the following is an accessory right? Option A, right to bodily security, option C, right to reputation, option C, easement and option D, ownership. Correct answer here is option C, that is easement. Which of the following is an accessory right? Easement is an accessory right. Question number 403. Who has criticized the fiction theory? Option A, Salmon. Option B, Pollock. Option C, Kelson. And option D, Holland. Here correct answer is option B, that is Pollock. Pollock has criticized the fiction theory. Question number 404. 
ownership of goodwill of a business is corporeal ownership, limited ownership, beneficial ownership, incorporeal ownership. Here correct answer is option D that is incorporeal ownership. So here we will wind up the MCQ series of jurisprudence. So if you want to watch other series also like international organization, please subscribe to this channel. Please like this video and thank you so much for supporting us.